Mr. Walter. Look, how about this one? Looks pretty. Huh? Yeah, indeed. It's her father who owes you $700,000. Yes. I was adopted by Mrs. Spence. It has nothing to do with Bruno Spence. Then let Bruno's mother pay off her son's debt. I really can do whatever I want. Sure, as long as you don't kill her. So pretty. Go away. Don't force me to do it. Yeah, keep screaming. The more you scream, the more excited I am. Ah. He started it. It's not my fault. Mr. Godwin, 10 minutes later, the bride and groom must appear. It's too late to cancel the wedding now. I'll call Miss White. I found Miss White. And? After Miss White was lost, the White family adopted me from the orphanage. Now, the real Miss White has appeared. I have to find her back. Do you really have to go find Miss White today? It's our wedding day. I'm here. I'll hang up first. Hello? Mr. Godwin, we have to go now. Let's go. Miss, did you get in the wrong car? Sir, someone is chasing me. Please, please help me. Please. No. If you help me, you'll definitely be rewarded. Get out. You. Sir, I'm sorry. I'll put it back. Beach, you're quite a good runner. Catch her. Sir, please help me. I'll definitely repay you. Let go of me. Mr. Godwin, we really need to go now, Mr. Mr. Godwin, aren't you just in need of a bride? How about... I can help you. But you have to do one thing for me. What is it? Kit, don't try to be a hero. Give the woman behind you out. What if I don't? I've warned you. Don't try to be a hero. Get her. Why are they chasing you? My adoptive father owes money and can't pay it back. Those debt collectors want me to repay his debt. Sir, what do you want me to do for you? Marry me. What? No. I can't do this. What? You want to go back on your word? You saved me, and I'm very grateful to you. But we just met each other. I don't want to use my marriage to repay you for your help. If I weren't afraid of beating them to death, I wouldn't need your help. I'm getting married today. But the bride stood me up. You only need to pretend to be the bride. After the wedding, I'll let you go. Sir, why did your bride stand you up? This is not something you should know. Don't ask. Now, let's welcome the groom and bride. Shouldn't the bride be Vivian? Who is this woman? Today is a warm and romantic day. Let's witness the happy marriage between Garrett Godwin and Vivian. And this lady. I've done what you said. I stood Garrett up. When will you give me the video? Garrett found another woman for his wedding. Do you know that? That's none of my business. I've already done what you said. Miss White, calm down. I'm just saying it. The video has already been sent to your email. Grandpa. Garrett finally got married. You've witnessed all this. You can finally rest assured. Rest assured. You don't know how angry I am. I urged him to get married when he was 25. He's now 30. It's still good that he finally got married. But look, is the woman on the stage Vivian? I don't know where he found that woman. There must be some reasons for Garrett to do this. Some reasons? Nonsense. Why can't he be more mature? Fortunately, I haven't let him take over the group. Sir, you must have spent a lot on this wedding. I borrowed a lot of money. The original bride is from a wealthy family. Hence, the wedding must be grand. How much did you borrow? $28,000. You borrowed money to hold a wedding? Cool. I finally got it back. Miss White, do we really need to find the real Miss White back? I'm the only daughter of the White family. There's no need for a second one. 
Then why did you say? That was just an excuse. Otherwise, how could I escape from the wedding? Go. There is an old woman in her family. Kill those two women. Can you do that? No problem. In order to kill the real Miss White before the White family finds her, I even escaped from my wedding. I've done so many things. The plan must succeed. Miss, Yvette is not at home. It was said she went to work. Check her nominal parents. Yes. Sir, your house is really big. I rented it. Never mind, I need to get changed first. Grandpa. Garrett. Who is that woman? Where's Vivian? I don't love Vivian. I love her. Miss White is so nice. She's gentle and generous. Why are you not satisfied at the wedding today? Everyone was asking me why the bride was not Vivian. You. Do you know how embarrassed I was? Grandpa, take a deep breath. Grandpa, I fell in love with her at first sight. I really want to let her be my wife. Better be. Sir, I've done what you said. Can I leave now? What are you doing? Do me another favor. My grandpa is eavesdropping outside. Can't you just be honest with him? I need some time. My grandpa starved himself for three days just to force me to get married. His body still hasn't recovered. So, I didn't dare to tell him that Vivian had escaped marriage. But our marriage is fake, and your grandpa will know it sooner or later. But I want to let him accept it slowly. I can't tell him everything at once. When you changed clothes just now, he came. He almost fainted with worry and anger. Don't worry, I won't let you help me for free. $28,000 for three months. You can still afford $28,000? If I had known it, I wouldn't have lied to her. I can pay half of the money first. Sir, what's your job? I don't want to pry into your personal affairs. I just don't want you to. I am the secretary of the president. Of the Godwin Group. What? I heard it on the news. Three months later, on Sir Godwin's 80th birthday, Sir Godwin will announce his heir and hand over the Godwin Group to him. When the new president takes office, he'll definitely do something to the current one. Isn't it very dangerous to you? I'll try my best to keep my job. Then you can't interfere in my life. You agreed? Yes. What do I need to do now? Call you groan? Ah. Uh. It's not screaming. My ears hurt. You asked me to do it. I wanted you to. Forget it. You don't understand. My grandpa should have left. Then you can get off now. You are a bit heavy. Are you okay? Still alive. That's good. I'll tell my grandma tomorrow. And I'll come back after that. I'll drive you. No, no, no. No need to do that. Goodbye. Bitch. We finally caught you. Bruno. Dad, what happened to you? Those debt collectors beat me. Go to the club and pay off my debt. You're the debtor. I won't help you pay off your debt. You were just an abandoned kid. If it weren't for Bruno, you wouldn't even be able to grow up. What an ungrateful person. Stop flattering yourself. I was raised by grandma. You didn't raise me. My mom's money is mine. You spent it, so you should repay for it. Bruno, you sold me first. And I have to protect myself. Stop. 
Mind your own business. Bruno. Who are you? She's my daughter. I have to take her home. I'm her husband. Why are you here? It's dangerous at night, and I was worried about you. So, I saved you again. With my strength. It's impossible for me to get hurt. Husband. Yvette, do you think we can't sell you for a high price and we'll let you go because you're not a virgin anymore? We can find more buyers. Mind your words. Fine. Yvette, I won't touch you. I'll go find my mom. Grandma lives in the countryside and doesn't have much money. How can she have $700,000? She's my mother. Whatever she does, she has to pay the debt for me. But, she's getting old. If she shows I owe others $700,000, she may pass out and die of a heart attack. If I pay off your debt, you won't go irritate grandma, right? Of course. How much do you have? Give them to me. $21,000. $7,000 are my savings. And those $14,000 were... $21,000? Are you kidding? Bruno, let's go and find your mother. She must have a lot of savings. That's the money for grandma's retirement. You can't do that. Wait. Sir, didn't you say you would give me the rest $14,000 later? Can you give them to me in advance? You'll start acting as my wife tomorrow. Why did you ask for full payment today? You've seen what happened here. If I don't give them money, they won't leave. In the next three months, I'll listen to everything you say. There are $14,000 on this card. What about the rest $686,000? Do you think I'm a bank owner? I don't have that much money. I can only pay it back little by little. That's only less than one-tenth of the debt. If you don't want it, then give it back. She at least gave us some. My mom doesn't have money at all. Yvette, where is your money? Remember to pay back the rest of the debt as soon as possible. Let's go back to your home. What? Why is Mr. Godwin with her? It seems that I have to visit the Godwin family tomorrow. This is our breakfast. Good morning, Grandpa. Nice to meet you. I'm Yvette Spence. You can call me Yvette. I don't know what method you used to let Garrett marry you, but I must remind you, it's not easy to be Mrs. Godwin. He barely has money. Mrs. Godwin, I don't care. Honey, morning. Darling. Honey, do you like these breakfasts? Darling, those are all my favorites. I'm glad that you like them. They're really in love with each other. This is. He's my father's illegitimate son. Just call him Harvey. Have we met before? I feel so too. It means that we are destined to be a family. Right, Grandpa? A family? No. no. I don't accept her. Let's have breakfast. Come on. Honey. Honey. Yummy. I want to feed you too. How does it taste? Will you stop and be quiet? Grandpa, we just got married, and we can't stop loving each other. You must understand this. I'll go talk to Grandpa. You eat. Have we gone too far? It's okay. I told him yesterday. Mr. Lawler, what's my job today? Well... Move these all up there. Can you finish it before noon? Yes. Good. Do it. How's everything? Don't worry. I've been supervising here. Everything goes smoothly. Wait here. Sir, why are you here? Is this place the Godwin Groups? The President. Let me come and inspect the construction. Is this your job, working on a construction site? Yeah. Look at your dusty clothes. It's dirty. You don't understand. I can do 10 people's work. 
but only eat for two. Mr. Lawler likes me very much, and he also presented me with the Outstanding Employee Award. I can't let others know that. The wife of the president of the Godwin Group is moving cement at the construction site. Otherwise, my partners will definitely laugh at me. Resign. Why? I still have over $600,000 in debt. How can I pay it back if I don't have a job? Find another job. If my colleagues know that. You are my wife. They'll definitely laugh at me. I can do nine people's jobs and get nine people's salary. If I quit this job, I won't get such a high salary with other jobs. Forget it. I'll figure out the solution myself. Mr. Godwin? Is that woman the one you married yesterday? Yes. Find a way to fire her. Find a way to fire her. Doesn't she know you're the heir to the Godwin group? I'll be with her for three months. Things may become troublesome if I tell her. And stop saying I'm the heir to the Godwin group. Mr. Godwin, you're now the president of the Godwin group. Why are you still angry with Sir Godwin? Besides, you're Sir Godwin's only grandson. Harvey is also his grandson. How can Harvey compare with you? He's an illegitimate child. If Grandpa really treats him as an illegitimate child, he wouldn't have taken him back. Oh. Yvette. You slacked off. You're fired. I didn't slack off. I've almost finished moving the cement. Don't you remember me? A few days ago, you awarded me the Outstanding Employee Award. Well, there's nothing I can do. It's a decision from my superior. Your superior? It must be Garrett. Garrett, get out. I refused to resign, so you forced them to fire me. You'll pay for that. Get out. Who are you? Hello. My name is Vivian. Garrett. Tomorrow is my birthday. I want to invite you to my birthday party. What a coincidence. Tomorrow is also my birthday. Garrett. I know I made a mistake yesterday, but my brother especially came back from abroad for the cooperation with the Godwin Group, for the sake of my brother. I will be there on time. You may leave now. Who is she? I feel something weird between you two. Vivian White. She was supposed to be the bride yesterday. Really? Then how dare she come? Garrett. Who is she? Why haven't I seen her before? My wife. Send Miss White out. Garrett. Was it you who let me get fired? Yes. You admitted it. I. Sir, give me a reason. Or I'll smash it on your face. I know a weightlifting coach from a provincial team, and I intend to introduce you to her. The basic salary is $4,000. $4,000? If you win a match, you also get a reward. Well, the flowers look pretty. Do you want me to move them to your room? I got some business. I need to go. $4,000. Mr. Godwin, this is it. Here. Poxionly necklace. It cost $170,000. Mr. Godwin? Mr. Godwin, why did you? Where is the prepared receipt? Here. To get this $18 receipt, I visited several stores. Happy birthday. I didn't expect you to remember it. Can I open it? Of course. This necklace is so beautiful. Must be expensive. No. It only cost $18. Do you want to try it on now? Yes. Sir, you're really amazing. It only cost you $18 to get this high-quality necklace. You are kind, attentive, and considerate. Vivian should regret that. She didn't marry you. 
What a cute girl. Pardon, sir? Nothing. It's getting late. Get dressed. We'll go to the White House later. The White House. Is it appropriate for me to go to Miss White's birthday party? I've never been to any party before. If you don't go, Vivian will definitely laugh at me. No. I'll go. Thanks. Cheers. Sir, this house is so beautiful. Don't be nervous. We're just here to eat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it was an accident. Miss Spence, are you okay? I'm sorry. Your dress gets dirty before the party starts. Let me take you upstairs to get changed. I'll wait for you here. Miss Spence, please have a seat. I'll let the maid to send you the clothes. Who are you? What are you doing? A dead person doesn't need to know that much. There are many people downstairs. If you kill me, you won't be able to run away. That's not what you should be concerned about. Help. Stop. I'm warning you. I'm really not someone to be trifled with. How could I have run into such a thing? At a party? I should have brought a stick with me. Jump. You want to disguise the incident as me committing suicide? That's not going to happen. Help, someone wants to kill me. You asked for it. Stop. Chance. Told you, I'm not someone to be trifled with. Watch out. Don't let your guard down. Well. My mistake. What about this injury? I didn't dodge. It's a small wound. Just leave it there. Let's deal with him first. I... I didn't want to kill her. Her father doesn't pay back the money he owes, so my boss told me to teach her a lesson. Forcing her to jump off a building with a knife. A lesson? Mr. Godwin. Sorry. I'm not the one you should apologize to. Mrs. Godwin, I'm very sorry. Something went wrong with our security and someone with ulterior motives sneaked in. Please take this and accept our apology. No, no need. You don't have to do this. That's also because my adoptive father refused to repay his debts. That's why he hurt me. If you want to blame, blame my adoptive father. But anyway, you got injured in the White's house. I still feel very sorry. Please accept my apology. Take it. Thank you, Mr. White. No. Thank you for not blaming us. Why do you look at me like that? I just feel that Mrs. Godwin's face looks familiar. I just feel that Mrs. Godwin's face looks familiar. Fortunately, Mr. Godwin showed up in time. Nothing serious happened to Miss Spence. But anyway, Miss Spence has encountered such a dangerous thing, and the White family should be blamed. We'll definitely give you a more formal apology later. It's fine. I only got a small wound on my arm. Maybe it's almost healed. Don't take it to heart. As for him, take him down. Mr. Godwin, my parents are still abroad. Only Vivian and I returned. We still have guests outside and shouldn't be absent for too long. So, if there is nothing else, I'll go out first. Ian, I also. You stay. It's fine. You two go. I'll stay with the vet. I'm sorry, Mr. Godwin. Sir, this is too expensive. What should I give them in return? Do you think I should give it back? Keep it. Mr. White has cooperation projects with the Godwin Group. Just a small portion of the profit could afford to buy a lot of this. It turns out that he just cares about his relationship with the Godwin Group. It feels so good to have a backer. Sir, why did he call you, Mr. Godwin? Business etiquette. Everyone does it. Oh. Mr. White is really a nice person. Careless. Why do you say that? Do you really think that person wanted to kill you only because your adoptive father didn't repay his debts? What else could it be? 
If it was not because of my adoptive father, what else would it be? I've always been very popular since my childhood. I have no enemy. Sir? Was that person coming after you? I was just implicated. Do you think? It's because of the Godwin Group's heir? He's about to take office and wants to get rid of the current president's men. My death will only be his warning to others. He won't do that. How do you know? Listen. Those people from wealthy families have dirty means to compete for family properties. I am Mr. Godwin. I know clearly what I have and haven't done. Stop your imagination. Sir, you're so naive. How did you become the president's secretary? Okay, enough rest. Will you go home or continue enjoying the party? Of course, I'll continue enjoying the party. I haven't eaten those desserts yet. Let's go then. You two go away. I'll go in and ask him why he wanted to kill Miss Spence. Yes. What a good for nothing. I invited Yvette to my party turned off monitoring devices, and called away all the servants upstairs in advance. I've created such a good opportunity for you. How could you fail? Miss White, please don't blame me. Yvette is too strong. I, I accidentally got hit by her. I hate excuses. You failed, yet you're still making excuses. You are a professional bodyguard. Yvette is a woman. How strong could she be? Miss White, please believe me. What I said is true. Enough. I have asked people outside to go away. Leave now. Be careful. Don't let others see you. Yes. Yvette lives in the Godwin's house now. I can't do anything there. It'll be difficult to get close to her again. See if there's any chance. At the party. I saw a few acquaintances. I'll go have a chat with them. You okay. stay here. Vivian, I saw you and Mr. White go upstairs. What happened? Nothing. My dog got out. I didn't want it to hurt anyone, so I asked the servant to lock it up. Aha, uh -huh. I see. Thanks, everyone. Vivian, happy birthday. Thank you, Ian. I like it very much. Yvette. Let's cut the cake together. Can I? Of course. We are friends. Or... Do you still mind what happened before and blame me? No, no. My birthday gift. Forget it, it's broken. I'll give you another one later. Clean them up. Don't let the guests get hurt. Sorry, Miss White. It was an accident. I just accidentally stumbled. Mrs. Godwin, it's good that you're not injured. This was just an accident, don't take it to heart. But Ian, this is the birthday gift you gave to me. I only have it once a year. I can compensate. Miss Spence, since you insist, then compensate me according to its original price. How much does this cost? 1.1 million dollars. What? Can I pay in installments? If you don't have money, don't come to the party, stingy woman. Of course. Miss Spence, do you have a job now? I happen to need a life assistant. The monthly salary is $14,000. Meal and accommodation are included. If you like, you can come to work now. $14,000 per month. It's about the same as my salary for the job at the construction site. Mrs. Godwin, don't take it to heart. Vivian was joking. Mr. Godwin and I are good friends. This is just a jade bracelet. It's nothing. Mr. White, thank you. But I indeed broke Miss White's birthday gift. I have to compensate for it. Don't worry, I don't feel much pressure. There will be a match a few days later. As long as I win the championship, I can get a $140,000 reward and a $280,000 commercial ad. I can pay it off soon. Well, how about you work for me half a day every day? If you have training, you can take leave at any time. The monthly salary is still $14,000. Vivian, you need to think about it carefully. You're doing this at a loss. She's a dying person. No matter what I give to her, they will eventually come back to me. Miss Spence is the future champion. She deserves it. Miss White, as long as you're willing, I can be your life assistant. Yvette, you'll come to me yourself. I'll definitely find a way to kill you. Ian, Mrs. Godwin personally agreed. You won't object, right? You. No need to bother. I'll compensate for what she has broken. 
How much is it? No need. I'll take my responsibility. I've already made a deal with Miss White. I can repay in installments. You're my wife. If you go to be a maid, I'll feel embarrassed too. Sir, the point is that you don't have $1.1 million. I'm the president's secretary. I can ask him to advance my salary. You're just a secretary. How can you let your boss clean up your mess? At worst, you can pretend that you don't know me. Miss White, we've finished our discussion. I can be your life assistant. Okay. Take Miss Spence to get changed. You'll have Talkley in this place later. Madam, please come with me. A man must bear the consequences of his own actions. Miss White ran away from our wedding, letting the Godwin family become a joke in Alfreda. How will you bear the consequences? We can hold a wedding again. I won't make the same mistake twice. Since Miss White doesn't want to take responsibility, I can only ask the White family for an explanation. Mr. Godwin. Mr. Godwin. Mr. Godwin. Mr. Godwin. Mr. Godwin, the matter isn't that serious. Vivian is still young and ignorant. If she did anything wrong, I'll let her apologize to you. It's also that I feel like Mrs. Godwin is like my sister, and I wanted to let Mrs. Godwin stay for two more days. Mr. White, no need to walk me out. I'll talk to Mr. Godwin now. Pay attention. Don't let Mrs. Godwin do a maid's work. After the party, send her home safely. By the way, let Vivian come to my study. Miss White, please move your foot. This outfit suits you very well. Mrs. Godwin, Mr. White said that you don't need to do this. She made a mistake, so she must be punished. But Mr. White said... Who is the master here? Go away. Find a chance and let Yvette have a car accident. I... I don't dare to do that. I've already found an excuse for you. What are you afraid of? If you don't do it, you'll get fired. Yes. Miss Spence, are you done here? I bought some flowers. They are delivered to the entrance. Can you help me move them? Sure. Miss Spence, are you okay? What's wrong with you? Get out of the car now. Miss White, the brakes failed. I'll take the car in for a service. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay, I see. Miss Spence, since you didn't get any hurt, how about we let this thing go? Brake failure? Why do I think he wanted to kill me? But Miss White asked me to let it go. If I refuse to let go, will the White family withdraw its cooperation with the Godwin family? Then Garrett's job. Fine. I didn't get hurt anyway. There are many plates left unwashed. You go and wash them. What a good for nothing. Miss White, this is really not my fault. She stepped on the car and I couldn't drive it forward. There's something wrong with her. Get lost. Mr. Godwin, Miss White stood you up. We can use it to let the White group give us a bit more prop. No need. Just cancel the cooperation. Ah, oh, okay. Mr. Godwin, what are you looking for? The Ogden Group's business plan. I've seen it. It's very feasible. Find a time and give Mr. Ogden a call. Ask him if he is available for a meeting tonight. But Mr. Godwin, Mr. White especially returned from abroad to negotiate cooperation with you. The atmosphere between you was very nice. You also promised to help him find his sister. Why did you suddenly change your mind? Vivian ran away from our wedding, but the White family still hasn't explained anything to me. They also let my wife work as a maid for Vivian. I've never experienced such a shameful thing in my life. How could the White family do that? Our cooperation with Sorg is about to expire, right? Yes. Call Sorg's president. Ask him to make a choice between us and the white group. The answer is very obvious. Mr. Godwin, he'll definitely choose us. When the president of Sorg knew you were getting married, he prepared generous gifts in advance. He even bought a cruise ship and sent it to you from abroad. It's very obvious that he wants to keep his partnership with us. 
Mr. Godwin, Mr. White is here. He said he wanted to meet you. Tell him I'm not here. Yes. Mr. White, the Sword Company just sent a message saying that the raw materials encountered a storm at sea. It's force majeure. The delivery will be delayed. I've checked the weather. There is no storm at sea. Sorg once torn you the contract with the Godwin Group. They must have gotten some news and want to show the Godwin Group their attitude. Vivian. That's all her fault. Ian, what's up? Why did you ask me to come here? Get prepared. You'll go to the Godwin's house tomorrow to apologize. Why? Is it because I asked if Ateta work as my maid? Ian, you also didn't object. I objected twice. Didn't you hear that? Did you want me to cover your mouth or let the servants send you back to your room? Today is your birthday. I can't scold you in front of so many people. I thought you knew what you should do, but... And now, Mr. Godwin cancelled the cooperation. Other companies also began to add fuel to the fire. What am I supposed to do? Ian, Yvette broke me birthday gift. Shouldn't she compensate for that? Do you think there is no security camera in the hall? Ah. That's impossible. I turned off all the security cameras in advance. Do you think I wouldn't check them before the party began? Was it you who agreed to marry Garrett? It was your own decision to run away from your wedding. Now, the trouble comes. The Godwin group cancelled the cooperation, and the White family has to bear the consequences. The Godwin family is the richest family in Alfreda. But so what? Why should we be afraid of them? But we were friends. One more friend in business, one less enemy in business. Have you ever seen any family who likes to find enemies for themselves? At worst, we can let them gain more profits. You still don't understand it. Is that waiter today your man? Ian, why do you have to charge me with something I didn't do? I don't know him. A gangster could sneak into the White's house at will. Do you think those security guards are all blind? I don't care why you want to kill a vet. But I hope you can remember one thing. Even though my mom likes you, you can't use my sister's identity to act at your vicious will. Understand? You. Go to the Godwin's house to apologize. Do you hear me? Okay. Yvette, why are you the only one back? Where's Garrett? He should still be in the White's house. Yvette, what happened to you? You look very tired. I mopped the floor of the hall and washed all the plates in the kitchen. Yes, I'm tired. Yvette, you went to the White family too. Do a part-time job. No. I accidentally broke Miss White's birthday gift. I work as her life assistant to compensate her. Didn't Garrett help you? He's just a secretary. He can't be of much help. And he has already helped me a lot. I can't always rely on him. A secretary. Her hand-picking gesture is exactly the same as hers, Yvette Spence. Yeah? You are Yvette Spence. How can you be Yvette Spence? I am Yvette Spence. My grandma gave me this name. If you don't like that name, you can call me Mrs. Godwin. You don't recognize me. I am Marvin Lee. I was your neighbor when we were kids. Marvin? You are Marvin. Marvin. You've changed a lot. What happened to you? Yvette, you went to collect garbage again? It's so hot. I want to buy an air conditioner for my grandma. What about you? Why are you outside on such a hot day? Someone took away my bike. I don't dare to go back. Was it Bob? I'll get your bike back now. Here. Thank you, Yvette. You're welcome. If Bob robs you again, just tell me. Yvette, Yvette, the brave Yvette. Look, observe, and there it is. Go and collect more bottles. How did you become Garrett's father's illegitimate? Didn't your mother say your dad was abroad? It's disgraceful to be someone's mistress. My mother knew that she couldn't tell me about it. As for why I'm here. I have a heart disease. After my dad died, my mom had no money to raise me, so she put me at the gate of the Godwin's house. Since then, I've been living here and never gone back again. 
I'm sorry, it must be very hard for you. It's all in the past, I won't worry about how to survive anymore, and I'm slowly fulfilling my dreams. Travel around the world. What about your heart disease? Disappeared? No. So, Garrett is taking care of all the company's affairs. I never intervened. It's okay. Look, you have become tall and handsome. You were skinny and small before, and I couldn't even recognize you. Sorry, did I use too much strength? It's fine. Go back to the room with me, Garrett. Sir, you are back. See you tomorrow, Harvey. See you tomorrow. You're still the same as when you were a child. Please remember your identity, Mrs. Godwin. Is it because of me and Harvey? We didn't do anything. He's actually... I don't want to know the things between you two. You'd better stay away from him. All right. Oh, I'm too tired. I need to sleep. How many things have you done today? I just moped the entire floor in the hall and washed hundreds of cups and plates. Hundreds of cups and plates? Did you wash all the dishes after the party? The White Family I can help you. You don't have to work so hard. How? You're not asleep? Almost asleep, but your voice sobered me up a little. Sir, what is your idea? Be my real wife, and I will help you solve everything. I thought he really had a good idea. Turns out he was teasing me again. It's my turn now. Are you okay? What are you doing? You took advantage of me. It was you who kissed me so suddenly, not the other way around. You could avoid me. Why didn't you? You're my wife. Why should I avoid your kiss? It's a sham marriage. It was a deal. Never mind. I'm going to sleep. Good morning, sir. I'll take you to the gym. Okay. I need to call Miss White first. Miss White, I need to go to the gym to train, so I won't go to your place today. Okay. Miss Spence, which gym do you train at? North Alfreda Gym. It's in the suburbs. Okay, I hope you'll become a world champion soon. Apologize. Yvette, see if you can survive tonight. Bye, the future champion. Bye, sir. Have a good day. Mr. Godwin, Mr. White is here again. Still refuse to meet him? Yes. Yvette, lift it up. It's 150 kilos. Okay. Bravo, Mr. Godwin has introduced a talent to me. This time, the champion of the competition will be us. Ten minutes later, this woman will appear in this alley. This is the place she'll definitely pass. You should know what to do. Yes, Miss White. See you tomorrow. See you, Yvette? Doesn't your husband come to pick you up? He's working. I'll take the bus. What do you want? Hey, pretty girl, let's have fun. You damn debt collectors, what's wrong with you? I've repaid you $35,000 already. Can you take a break? What $35,000? You're not my adoptive father's creditors? I don't know what you're talking about. If you what's good for you, go with us. A bunch of lame ducks want to rob me? What a joke. Useless. You can't even take down a woman. Miss White, it's not that we're useless. That woman is very strong. I've set Yvette up several times, but all of them failed. Is she really that strong? 
Hello. You didn't listen to my words. I, I'm out buying gifts. It's not good to apologize empty-handed. If you haven't gone this afternoon, I'll send you back to mom. Don't hinder me in my work here. Okay. Don't think that I don't know it. The real purpose of your return to the country is to look for Yvette. I won't let you get what you want. You don't have to come this afternoon. What about the money I owe you? You don't need to come anymore. Hello, Miss White? What happened? Garrett must have done something. I need to ask him. I've mentioned several projects during the meeting. Have you recorded them all? Let the planning department get busy. May I ask where the secretary department is? Just go forward and turn right. Don't worry, Mr. Dwyer. I'll do it right away. Sir, this is... Well, this is the president of the Godwin Group. Mr. Dwyer. Uh, yeah, right, yes. I am Mr. Dwyer. Hello, Mr. Dwyer. Have we met before? When I pretended to be Garrett's bride, it was you who drove the car. That day, let me explain. I was going to marry the daughter of a wealthy family. Mr. Dwyer felt happy for me and personally drove me to the venue. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, Garrett is like my confidant. It was just a car. It's nothing. But how could Garrett let his superior drive for him? Mr. Dwyer, it's 12 noon. Is it lunch break now? Well, yes. Yes. Of course, we never let our employees work overtime. Ah, by the way, Mr. Dwyer, you haven't eaten yet. Go and have lunch. Don't worry, the tasks you gave me will be completed perfectly. Ah, okay. Garrett. I trust you. Thanks. Goodbye, Mr. Dwyer. Yvette, why are you here? I brought you lunch. You made lunch for me? I bought it. Let's go. How do you know I like these? I called the servants and asked them about it. Thank you. Sir, did you help me pay back the $1.1 million? Just now, Miss White called me. She said I didn't need to go to her place anymore. No, I don't have $1.1 million. Then why did she say that? Could it be that Mr. White has chosen a new gift for her, so you don't need to compensate? Mr. White is really generous. No wonder even if you were in debt, you still wanted to marry Vivian. Well, Vivian is quite hostile to you. Be careful. Do you still hold grudges because Vivian stood you upon the wedding day? How about this? I'll sell the gift that Mr. Godwin gave me and use the money to pay off your debts. Will you feel better? Just keep the jewelry. This is not what I want to say. Then what is it? The waiter who wanted to kill you at the party yesterday ran away. So? Dumb. If that waiter was really sent there by your adoptive father's creditor, then that matter must have nothing to do with the White family. But why did the White family let him go? Maybe, maybe that waiter successfully avoided all the bodyguards and sneaked out. When that waiter sneaked in, he successfully avoided all the bodyguards. When he stole clothes and pretended to be a waiter, none of the bodyguards noticed him. After we found he tried to kill you, we locked him up. But he again successfully avoided all the bodyguards and ran away. He didn't alarm anyone. Do you still think there's no problem with the White family? No. But there's no grudge between us. Why does Miss White want to kill me? Could it be because of you? Because you married me. Why did you hit me again? If Vivian really liked me, she wouldn't run away on the wedding day. You're right. Then why does Miss White want to kill me? Ah, it's so complicated. On the wedding day, Vivian said she would take the real Miss White home. But so many days have passed, there's no trace of the real Miss White. That day, she must have something more important than taking the real Miss White home. Does it have something to do with her hostility towards Yvette? Miss White, why are you here? I'm looking for Yvette. Mrs. Godwin is not at home now. Then I'll wait for her. Why don't you go to the company? Garrett manages the company very well. He doesn't need me. I can help you become the head of the Godwin family, but you have to help me get rid of Yvette first. Is this why you came to the Godwin family today? Mrs. Godwin, 
Miss White came to see you. Why did she come? Tell her to wait. I'll be right back. Okay. You just need to answer me. Okay. Or not okay. What grudge do you have against Yvette? It's none of your business. You want me to kill her? How's that none of your business? The result will be what you want. Isn't that enough? You used a video to threaten me to run away from the wedding. Don't say you have no thought about being the head of the Godwin family. You ran away because you wanted to find the real Miss White. How did you know? You sent someone to follow me. Yvette. Yvette. I'll go to see Grandpa. You two talk. Miss White, what do you want to drink? Juice or tea? Peach juice. Astrid, make two glasses of peach juice. It's okay. Go. Okay. Miss White, what's the matter? I'm here to apologize. Apologize? If I drink the peach juice, I'll have an allergic reaction in less than half an hour. If I encounter such a horrible thing in the Godwin's place, Yvette, what will you do? Yvette, it was my fault yesterday. That birthday gift was broken. I was so angry, so I... Ian has already scolded me. He let me apologize to you. How can I blame you? It was Muho broke your birthday gift. Of course, I should compensate. How is your finger? It's nothing. Don't worry. Ian will give me birthday gifts every year. I got too emotional yesterday. And that jade bracelet. It's not really 1.1 million dollars. Don't take it to heart. 1.1 million dollars is not a small amount. You don't have to worry about me being stressed. I'll pay back half of the debt soon. Trust me. Grandpa, Vivian is here. Vivian! Grandpa, you don't fish anymore. My granddaughter-in-law is here. How can I ignore her? Oh, Yvette, please don't say that. It's just 1.1 million dollars. Don't let money hurt our friendship. So she doesn't need me to repay that 1.1 million dollars? Garrett said that Miss White was hostile to me. Fortunately, I didn't believe it. Vivian. Sir Godwin, why are you here? I'm sorry about the wedding. It has nothing to do with you. It was Garrett's fault. He suddenly fell in love with someone else. On the contrary, I want to thank you for not blaming Garrett. What's wrong, Vivian? What's wrong? Yvette, I shouldn't have let you work as my maid. Now, I'm apologizing to you. Can you forgive me? What are you talking about? Vivian is allergic to peaches. Why didn't you ask before you made juice? Now, Vivian has an allergic reaction. You can't afford the price of it. It was Mrs. Godwin who asked me to make peach juice. She said she wanted to drink peach juice. Yes, I said I wanted to drink peach juice. It was my fault. Yvette can do anything she wants to punish me. What are you talking about? You said you wanted to drink peach juice, so I asked the maid to make it. Why do you blame me for something I haven't done? Harvey, hurry up. Send Vivian to the hospital. Okay. Why did she say those misleading words? Severe allergies can kill people. How can you be so ignorant? Grandpa, she really said she wanted to drink peach juice. I don't want to hear your excuses. Now, Miss White had an accident at our place. What are you going to do next? Harvey has already sent her to the hospital. What else can I do? Buy flowers and go visit her? Miss White had an accident at our place. It's the most basic etiquette to go to the hospital to visit her. Apart from that, you also have to apologize to her. Don't let others think that we're merciless. It was she who wanted to drink the peach juice. I won't apologize. I didn't do anything wrong. Even if you don't know Vivian is allergic to peach, you should ask what she likes and dislikes in advance. She's a grown-up. If she dislikes something, she should say it directly. I won't force her. Are you reflecting on yourself or not? Look at you. You look nothing like a graceful lady. You're careless. And you don't know how to handle crises at all. How can you be the female master of the Godwin family in the future? No, I can't accept you to be my granddaughter-in-law. You and Garrett must divorce. You, call Garrett and ask him to come back now. Yes. Garrett said I need to pretend to be his wife for three months. We can't divorce now. No, I really love Garrett. I can't leave him. Go away. I'm not dead yet. You don't have the final say in the Godwin family. 
You put Miss White in danger, yet you're still impenitent. Go to the ancestral hall, kneel down and copy the family rules a hundred times. You can only get out after you finish it. Grandpa, I can do that. It's okay. But do I still have dinner tonight? You still care about your dinner. I've said so many things. Don't you have any thoughts about them? You! Grandpa, are you alright? I'll take you to the hospital. Go away! Grandpa, go get the medicine. Why are you still standing there? Send her to the ancestral hall. Sir, I really have nothing to do with Vivian's incident. You have to believe me. Go to the ancestral hall first. I'll talk to Grandpa. Garrett, do you really think she can take the responsibility of being Mrs. Godwin? Grandpa, we just got married. There are many things she still doesn't know. I'll talk to her later. When can you? Let me truly rest assured. Can't drink peach juice? Couldn't she tell me in advance? I didn't know it. Is she really hostile to me? Just like Garrett said. Sir. I didn't mean to make Grandpa angry. I know. Don't sit on your lower legs. Sir, can I still go down to have dinner? I'm afraid you can't. Grandpa almost passed out with anger. He's our elder, and we have to show some attitude. I already know what happened. You didn't do anything wrong. Grandpa is prejudiced against you. I took your money. So, I can take this. But... I really can't go down to eat? I'll bring you food later. Well, thank you. Sir, will we go to divorce tomorrow? Who said we would divorce? Grandpa. I think he'll never be satisfied with me, and I can't satisfy him either. Then do you still want to make money? Of course. Satisfy my grandpa and $28,000. Choose one. I do point $28,000. I'll try my best to be the best granddaughter-in-law. I'll help you with it. Mr. Godwin, it's dinner time. I'll be back later. Okay. Here. It's so cold in the ancestral hall. But with Garrett, this place is not that bad. Garrett is so nice. No wonder Vivian wants to marry him. Grandpa. Done with the copy. Yes. Do you think I'm blind? Do you think I can't recognize your handwriting? A good couple will always face difficulties together. What I hate the most is cheating. These don't count. Do it again. Grandma, you are sick? I'll be right back. Grandpa, can Ido it later? I won't escape, but I have to go back and see my grandma first. Indeed, I'm not satisfied with her being my granddaughter-in-law, but when she heard her grandma was sick, her first reaction was to go to her grandma. She's a filial girl, which is a good thing. Okay, you can do it after you come back. Let the driver send you later. Garrett, I've asked the chef to make chicken soup. Take the soup to the hospital to see Vivian. I've already sent someone to the hospital. What about you? Yvette's grandma is getting old. I'll accompany Yvette to visit her grandma. Okay. Do you remember what I said to you yesterday? Think about it. Grandpa. 
I won't divorce Garrett. I'll try my best to be a good granddaughter-in-law and make you satisfied. What about you? Yvette is very nice. She's the only wife in my life. Nice. Miss White is talented and beautiful and has a wealthy family. Miss White is much better than her. Miss White is good, but your grandson doesn't deserve her. What are you talking about? Garrett and Vivian are a perfect match. Grandpa, I didn't expect you to be so optimistic. I am the richest. Grandpa, you forget that you'll go to play golf with Mr. Gale later. He's still waiting for you. When did I say I'll play golf with Jeff today? Grandpa, I remembered it wrong. It was Mr. Gale who initiated the appointment. He said that no matter what, he'll wait for you. Let's go, Grandpa. I feel that Garrett is hiding something from me. Why is it you? Where's Yvette? That was your one-man show. You want Mrs. Godwin to come to see you? No way. Is this the Godwin family's attitude? Do they want to make the White family their enemy? You're just an adopted daughter. You can't represent the White family. I'm here to convey Mr. Godwin's message to you. If you make trouble again, even the White family can't protect you. This is Garrett's attitude? Of course. Well, you should know what you can and can't do. After all, the White family won't offend the Godwin family for an adopted daughter. Yvette, you haven't returned to the White family yet, but you've already made me suffer. If the White family really finds you back, what awaits me will be endless miseries. Hello. You found Yvette's foster parent, right? Give me their number. Sir, you can stop here. I can go by myself. So many things. Are you sure you can do this alone? Let me help you. It's a piece of cake. Yvette. Grandma, you are not sick. If I didn't say that, you wouldn't come back, would you? I'm a little busy lately, Grandma. I know. Busy paying off my son's debt. How do you know? I know everything. This is... Hello, madam. Just call me Garrett. He's my boyfriend. You are much older than Yvette, right? Just a little, Grandma. I don't think so. Madam, how old do you think I am? Grandma, I'm a little hungry. Let's go eat first. I don't know what's wrong with me. My shoulders hurt a little lately. Grandma, let's go to the hospital. No, no need. Just a small matter. Garrett, I'm afraid I can't make lunch today. Can you do it? Of course. I'll make lunch. Just stay with your grandma. This is her test for me. Yvette, come here. I have something to tell you. Can't I listen to you here? No, we can't talk about it when an outsider is around. It's about your biological parents. Grandma, do you know where my biological parents are? We'll talk about it later. Let me ask you first about your boyfriend. How long have you known each other? What does his family do? How many people are there in his family? I've known him for about two years. His family is very simple. He only has a grandpa and a brother. He works at the Godwin Group. He's the president's secretary, and his salary is very high. Is he considerate towards you? Yes. This is what your biological parents left for you. I found you when you were five. And this jade pendant was around your neck. I had someone identify it. It's pure jade. Plus it's carving. It's worth at least $700,000. What? You were naughty. When you were a child, I was afraid you would lose it. So I took it off and kept it for you. Now, I'll return it to you. Grandma, you should keep this. You've raised me. I have to repay you. You've repaid me more than enough. You bought me a house. Otherwise, I would still be living in that shabby house in the countryside. Yvette, this is about your biological parents. Listen to me. Take it. Find your biological parents and you don't have to suffer here anymore. 
Grandma, I have you, and that's far than enough to make me happy. My unfilial son has owed others so much money, and he also burdens you. Well, no. I'm old, but I'm not stupid. You were raised by me, you owe him nothing. Don't help him pay off his debts anymore. I'll call my unfilial son now. I won't let him go look for you again. Mom, I owe so much money. If Yvette doesn't pay off my debts, I'll be beaten to death. What's up? My mom just called me. She warned me not to ask Yvette for money again. But Yvette has a lot of money. Now, we can't get anything from her anymore. That's not a big problem. We now have a new way to make money. You mean Miss White? Okay, since my mom is so cruel to me, I won't care about her anymore. We'll take the $1.1 million from Miss White. $1.1 million. After paying off your debt, we still have more than $400,000 left. Better times will come soon. Sir, your cooking is pretty good. That braised pork. Can you make it again after we get home? No. I'm very expensive. How much? I'm the president of the Godwin Group, the richest man in Alfreda. Do you think I'm a kid? You don't believe it. No. Then how do you want me to prove it? What happened? Why does he suddenly get so close to me? How, how do I know? It's really rare to see her being so nervous. Then I will tell you bit by bit. Starting from our wedding day. Wedding day. If you really are the president of the Godwin Group, why are you driving this? Crappy car. I bought this crappy car with my money. I'm sorry. I accidentally used too much strength. Okay, put your seat belt on. I'll start the car now. Put some more. I bought this carbon potassium chloride from a hypertensive patient at a high price. Normal people's blood pressure will drop sharply if they eat it. Put the whole bottle in. A low dose of it can't take effect. Coming. Clean up the kitchen. I'll go get the door. Yvette, you came alone. Yeah, my husband has gone to work. If you want to meet him, I'll let him come with me next time. No, no, no. It's better that you came alone. It's better. Oh, I mean, your husband and I are not familiar with each other. I'll invite him next time. Yvette, I especially made this mango juice for you. Try it. Why did you spit it out? It's bitter. Something's wrong with your sense of taste? It's fresh. How could it be bitter? Dad, if you don't believe me, try it yourself. No, no, no. You drink. Drink it. But mom, take it away from me. You. Yvette, we especially made this for you. If we drink it, you won't have any left. I'll just eat apples with your dad. This taste is really not right. Maybe the mango has gone bad. I'll help you dump them all. Yvette, you know that we are not rich. Don't be picky about food like those rich people. Don't make your mom sad. That's right, Yvette. I especially made this juice for you. Drink more. The mango has gone bad. Drinking it will cause diarrhea. It's not easy for your mom to make it. How can you refuse it? How did your grandma educate you? Bruno, lower your voice. Don't scare Yvette. Yvette. Do you still resent us for ignoring you for these years? In fact, we also want to treat you well, but your grandma? I know clearly how you treat me. Don't put all the blame on my grandma. This mango juice. If you don't want to waste it, drink it yourself. Stop. What are you doing? Sylvia, what are you waiting for? Pour the juice into her mouth. Yeah, how dare you hit me? You force me to drink something I don't want to drink. Why can't I resist? How dare you be so rude to us? I'll teach you a lesson today. Come if you dare. Miss White asked us to do this. 
What did you say? Do you really think we want to have a meal with you? It's because you've offended Miss White. Miss White asked us to teach you a lesson. Miss White said that if you don't drink it, your grandma will be the one who drinks it. If you dare to touch my grandma, I'll let you pay the price. Don't threaten us. If you dare, go threaten Miss White. I will solve this matter, and I won't let you be implicated. But I warn you too, don't go to the countryside to find my grandma. Otherwise, you'll end up no better than that apple. Just let her go like that. We can only think of other ways. I must get that $1.1 million. Grandpa has always disliked me, and even Garrett is implicated. If Grandpa knows I'm leaving, will he think Garrett is fickle-minded and immature and pass out again? Ah. How should I tell my Garrett? Tell me what? Sir. No, nothing. Why are you so panicked? Did you cause trouble again? Am I so unreliable in your heart? I'm so disappointed in you. Wait. Sir. Are your muscles made of iron? It hurts. There's a charity auction tomorrow night. You'll go with me. Do I have to go? You are my wife. If you don't go, where can I find another female companion? Sir, I'm leaving. Be careful in the future. Be careful? Me? What do you mean? You'll take revenge on me. Have I offended you before? No, no I mean. I want to terminate the agreement and leave here. Why? Why? I even had Miss White hospitalized. I'm afraid of her revenge. Vivian doesn't dare to do that. She doesn't? She even asked my adoptive father to. Forget it. I shouldn't tell him. Garrett has high self-esteem. If he knows he even can't protect his nominal wife, he'll definitely get sulky. Why stop talking? There's nothing to talk about. You can leave. But you have to go to the charity auction with me first. Have a rest. I have something else to do. I asked you to go to the hospital to warn Vivian. Did you go? Yes, Mr. Godwin. What happened? Keep a close eye on Vivian. Yes. Be gentle. It hurts. Damn. How could Yvette be so strong? Be gentle. Yvette is not dead. What should we say to Miss White? It's, it's Miss White's call. You failed, right? Miss White? We, we were not fully prepared this time. Please give us more time. We'll definitely find a perfect solution. Give you time? That will only waste my time. How about this? I'll give you another chance. Yes, thank you. Charity auction? Okay, okay. This time, I won't fail. Yvette, as long as you have a stain, even if Ian finds you, your status will never surpass mine. Bruno, I heard that things in this auction are quite expensive. Will it be okay if we don't buy anything? Look at this. Miss White's supplemental card. There are $280,000 in it. Isn't she afraid that we will take the card and run away? If we spend over $14,000 at a time, the bank will call Miss White for confirmation. So, we can't directly take the card and run away. What can we buy with only $100,000? What if after we bid, Miss White goes back on her words? I've recorded every call between Miss White and us. If she goes back on her words, we can expose her. Good idea. Let's go. Mr. Godwin, it's an honor to meet you here. This is Mrs. Godwin, right? Mrs. Godwin, you really look gorgeous. Mr. Godwin, you must be the luckiest person in the world. This is Mr. Bain. Hello, Mr. Bain. Mr. Godwin, can we discuss the project in Norlake privately? Did I see it wrong? Mr. Bain seems to respect Garrett very much. But Garrett is just a secretary. Go. I'll take a look around.
Why are you here? Why can't we be here? Well, your necklace looks very beautiful. Did you rent it? I bought it for $18. So your dress must also be a cheap product. I just checked the price. The cheapest auction good cost $42,000. Can you afford it? Even if I can't, that's still none of your business. I highly doubt that you want to make a fraudulent donation. There are always people who come to such events out of their vanity. We worked hard to have this charity auction, but those opportunistic people only see this as their platform. You have to know that there are many reporters outside. If they know that there's a fraudulent donation, our reputation will also be damaged. Call security to drive her out. Nonsense. I am the wife of the Godwin Group's president's secretary. He came to this charity auction on behalf of the president of the Godwin Group. How can we make a fraudulent donation? Turns out you're just a secretary's wife. No wonder I don't recognize you. Fine. Well, so high profile. I've heard that Sir Godwin will announce his heir to the Godwin Groupon on his birthday this year when the new president takes office. Your husband will be the first one to get expelled. Even if you bid in the name of the Godwin Group, you'll still get nothing. If you didn't resist yesterday, Miss White wouldn't have gotten angry. Maybe she'll reward you with an auction good. But now, I'm sure you won't get anything. And your husband will be in trouble. What happened? My adoptive parents are here. They'll definitely cause trouble for us. How did they get the invitation letter? Vivian gave them the invitation letter. Seems that she didn't listen to me. Everyone, welcome to the charity auction. We will donate all the donations tonight to the Red Cross. Let's begin with lot one. We start at $42,000. You terminated the agreement with me because of Vivian? Yes. Lot six, starting price $140,000. $170,000. $200,000. $210,000. $250,000. $200,000. $200,000. only gave us $280,000. If Garrett bid over $300,000, what can you do? $250,000 first. I have an idea. Come with me. Congratulations to philanthropist number 88. What? This is a charity auction to prevent anyone from making a fraudulent donation and implicate the organizer. Everyone has to bid and get at least one item, especially those who quit midway. What do you mean? Fair enough. Mr. Godwin, the Godwin group suddenly cancelled the cooperation with the White family. What happened? You should ask the White family why. We heard that your bride was replaced on your wedding day. What part of this lady made you give up Miss White? You should ask Vivian for the answer. As for the lady next to me, she's my goddess in my life. Mrs. Godwin, can you tell us about the love story between you and Mr. Godwin? We won't answer this question. Excuse me. Damn it. How can they fail again? Seems that I have to clean up the mess myself. Take a few people and go with me. Mr. White, didn't you tell Miss White that you would come to see her after getting off work? Why did she go out? Follow her and see what she's up to. Yes. Bruno, what did you stop me from arguing with that security guard? Well, Miss White let us frame Yvette for making fraudulent donations, but we failed, and we also spent $280,000 to buy this stuff. How do we explain this to Miss White? Okay, stop complaining. Aren't we here to ambush her? You know how strong Yvette is. Will this plan work? No man is invincible, let alone a woman. We'll smash the vase that Garrett just bought. When finding that the vase is broken, the Godwin group will definitely punish them. Shush, someone is coming. Sir, are those words you just said to the reporters your sincere words? 
What words? You said I was your goddess. No one has ever said that to me before. Of course. Sylvia, wait for my gestures. We'll rush over together. That vase is worth $280,000. If it's broken, Yvette will be in big trouble, and her husband will also get fired. I suddenly realized that your surname is also Godwin. Sir, don't tell me you're the heir to the Godwin group. It's just a coincidence. Many people's surname is Godwin. If I'm really the heir to the Godwin group, I should have a driver. Drive me to this charity auction, but I don't have one. Watch out. What's going on? What? Bruno, how are you? Yvette, put us down. You want to break the vase? Don't slander us. We're just passing by. Do you think I'm blind? Still not telling the truth, huh? Yvette, how dare you? How dare you hit me? You? Forget it. Yvette, let's go home. Sir, you should have let me interrogate them. As long as we have the evidence, we can tell Mr. White about Miss White's bad deeds. I believe that Mr. White will be fair to us. Look at you. Don't blow your top. Sir, why are you still teasing me? Don't worry. I will take care of this. I promise. I won't let Vivian bother you again. Okay, it's already very late. Go back to sleep. Miss, Miss White, why did you come? Where is the item? It's behind that pillar. Miss White. Let's go. Miss White, where are you going? What about us? Miss White, we did things for you. Now, we're both injured. You can't just leave like that. What do you want me to say? You used my money to buy that useless item. Good job. Miss White, that's not what we meant. We didn't do it well this time. Please give us another chance. You have failed twice. I don't have that much money to afford your failure. Miss White, at least, you should pay for our hard work. Look at our bruises. You worked hard. Miss White, we worked for you and were beaten because of you, yet you give us no compensation. Don't go too far. Miss White, I've recorded all the calls between us. You don't want us to expose that. You've tried to kill Yvette. Right? Are you threatening me? Go. Teach them a good lesson. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. 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 Stop. I'm sorry. No. I won't make the same mistake. Twice. Let's go. What are you doing? Isn't it agreed that I'll leave after I accompany you to the charity auction? Is it because of Vivian? Half right. Sir, what are you doing? What's wrong with me? I feel a little reluctant to let her leave me. It's late at night. No taxi is available. It's unsafe for you to go out with a luggage case at night. You think I'm stupid? Of course, I'll leave tomorrow morning. My grandpa is in poor health. If I really married Vivian that day, maybe Vivian would really anger grandpa to death one day. That would be too pathetic, right? Do you want me to protect your grandpa? But I can't even protect myself. You really want to leave? Yes. Can you stay for me? What? Oh, nothing. It's getting late. It's time to sleep. We both have to go to work tomorrow. I heard it. Sir? Are you in love with me? After all, I'm beautiful, gentle, kind, knowledgeable, energetic, and cute. Who doesn't love me? You heard it wrong. Then you can say it again. 
and I'll rethink whether to stay or not. Yvette, will you stay for me? I knew it. You just covet me. You're right. Will you agree? No, go away. You're just afraid of Grandpa knowing that our marriage is fake. I'll think about it, okay? I'm going to sleep now. Please turn off the light. This luggage case is really an eyesore. This little girl looks so familiar. Sir, what are you looking at? Is this you when you were a child? Yes. Grandma took me to take this photo. It's cute. Can you give it to me? Sure, if you want. To let her stay. I made so many excuses. I even sorted out clothes for her. Do I really fall in love with her? Mr. White, since you can't discipline your sister, I'll do it for you. This is Ian's sister's photo before she went missing. Why does Yvette look the same as the girl in the photo? Caleb, investigate how Yvette's grandma adopted Yvette. What does Mr. Godwin mean? Did Vivian do something again? Mr. White. Miss White. No wonder Mr. Godwin just called me. Ian. You're finally back. Why didn't you inform me before you came? If I called you, you wouldn't go to the auction and cause trouble. Ian, what are you talking about? I just felt bored in the hospital. So I went down for a walk. I saw you go out in the parking lot. You were in a rush. You didn't even notice that my assistant was following you. You're right about one thing. Our white family won't give money to some useless people. Ian, I... Stop. That will freeze your car. Ian. Mr. White. What do you want to say? Mr. White, I found something very strange. Miss White seems to be keen on creating conflicts between us and the Godwin family. Why do you say so? I just don't understand why Miss White wants to kill Mrs. Godwin. Could it be that someone bribed Miss White to let us fight with the Godwin family and that person will get all the benefits in the end? It's possible. Vivian is cruel and likes to use dirty tricks. She's just an adopted daughter. No wonder she doesn't care about the family. About my sister. How's the investigation going? Oh, we've found some clues. The real Miss White was adopted by a family surname Spence. Good. Find her back as soon as possible. Why did the investigation go so fast? There's not much time left for me. Once the White family finds Yvette back and finds out what I've done, they'll definitely kick me out. But where can I go after leaving the White family? I can't go to some poor families. The Godwin family will be my only choice. Damn, who can help me enter the Godwin family? If only I could bribe someone in the Godwin family. Grandpa. Have you finished copying the family rules? Didn't you say I don't need to do that anymore? What did I say those words? But... If you and Garrett get divorced, you don't need to do that anymore. Grandpa, what on earth should I do to make you satisfied? No matter what you do, I won't be satisfied. I see. If only you really saw it. Grandpa, if I leave, will you let Vivian marry Garrett? You agreed to divorce Garrett. When? Garrett doesn't necessarily have to marry Vivian, but it can't be you anyway. What happened to her today? 
One month is coming to an end. Where is the rest of the money? Please, please give me two more days. We can. Like what we did last month. Give me $35,000 and I'll collect the money next month. But, can it be cheaper? You've seen my bruises. Need to heal my wounds, right? That's none of my business. Are you trying to run away and default on your debt? I don't have that much money. Okay, okay. I'll give you the money tomorrow. This time tomorrow, I'll be here. If you dare to run away, your son, Randall, will graduate from college soon, right? If we go to his campus and make a scene there, will he still be able to graduate this year? Please, please don't do that. I will. I will definitely pay back the money. Let's go. We are penniless now. Where can we raise money? I can only go back to find my mom. Anyway, we can't let those gangsters go disturb Randall. It seems that Grandpa really dislikes me. If I leave now, Garrett won't be mad at me, right? But those $28,000. The competition hasn't started yet. I really don't know. I have an idea. Harvey is on the phone. I'll go down to him later. Help me marry into the Godwin family. Later, I'll find a chance to poison Garrett. After Garrett dies, you'll get support from the White family and become the head of the Godwin family. You'll definitely make a gain in this deal. I can't think of a reason for your refusal. Garrett is my brother after all, although he doesn't treat me well. I can't kill him. I can't kill anyone. Don't you want to be the head of the Godwin family? You're the daughter of the White family. You're already living an enviable life without getting married. Why do you need to marry into the Godwin family and kill Garrett? My sincerity is undoubted. You can think about it. After you make a decision, call me. Vivian is so anxious. It seems that the real Miss White has already put great pressure on her. Do we still need to form an alliance with Vivian? Won't it be better to form an alliance with Ian? As for Vivian, she's just an unimportant adopted daughter. Harvey. Watering the flowers? Yes. Yvette, why didn't you go for training today? I called the coach. I won't go today. Harvey. Can we have a private talk? Okay. Yvette, what do you want to say to me? Harvey. Do you have money? Can you lend me some? You came to me just to borrow money. Yes. I'm not cheating you out of money. I'll give you this jade pendant. I'll redeem it when I have money. It's pure jade and is very valuable. We're friends. You don't have to do this. How much do you want? Just tell me. Just take it. If you don't, I won't borrow your money. It's really fine. Then you help me keep it. I'll definitely get it back in half a month. All right. It's really pure jade. Why does Yvette have such a valuable thing? Yvette, where did you get this jade? Its carving is really amazing. I had worn it when I was a kid, remember? But my grandma was afraid that I might lose it, so she took it away and kept it for me. She just gave it to me a few days ago. I seem to remember a little. Yvette, how much do you need? $28,000. Do you have it? There are exactly $28,000 in this card. Thank you, Harvey. Harvey, I can ask you for another favor? Yeah. In fact, the marriage between I and Garrett is fake. That day, Vivian should be the bride, but she ran away from the wedding. Garrett didn't want Grandpa to worry, so he found me to pretend to be his bride. And you know what happened next. Do you want me to help Garrett comfort Grandpa after things get exposed? Yes. Your brother used $28,000 to hire me to be his wife. You borrowed money from me because you want to leave the Godwin family. Shoo. Yes, Harvey, but I now have to go to the company to look for Garrett. We can talk about other things later. Fake marriage. 
Sir, you've lent me $28,000. Now, I'm giving the money back to you. I'll leave the Godwin family. Please don't keep me. Don't try to persuade me. No one can shake my determination. If I say so, will it be too harsh? Should I put it in a more gentle way? My grandma passed away? How is that possible? I'll be right back. Grandma. Mrs. Moore. What happened to my grandma? Wasn't she still fine a few days ago? I don't know. I was passing by and saw the door open. After I came in, I saw your grandma lying on the ground. It's all my fault. Yvette, it's not your fault. Margot's son is unreliable. It was you who worked hard to let Margot live a good life. You even bought her a house. Well, Bruno just left here, and Margot passed away. How pathetic. Bruno has been here? Yes. Two days ago, he and his wife brought something to visit Margot. Margot was so happy at that time. Well, life is always so unpredictable, but... The deposit book is missing. It must be Bruno. Yvette, where are you going? $42,000. Nice. I didn't expect that your mom would have so much money. Fortunately, I got it back. Otherwise, my mom will definitely give all the money to Yvette. And this property ownership certificate, we can sell your mom's house for at least $100,000. Did you kill my grandma? Who let you in? What you're hiding? Nothing. Is it grandma's deposit book? I saw it. Yvette, this is my house. Get out. Yvette, this is my house. Don't make a scene here. This is grandma's deposit book. Bruno, you killed your own mother just for money. You monster. My mom loves me, so she gave me money. Someone saw you at grandma's house. Do you still want to deny it? I went back to see my mom. That's it. Just say the same words to the police. I will never forgive you. Yvette. Where's Yvette? She has gone out. Where did she go? I don't know. Garrett, didn't Yvette go find you? Who let you call her Yvette? It's Mrs. Godwin. She went to find me? When? Garrett. You were quite arrogant before. How dare you hit me? Come on, hit me again. Bitch. Surprise. You didn't see this coming. I think you've learned your lesson today. Bruno, why are you still standing there? Call Miss White. Are you sure if we give Yvette to Miss White, Miss White will help us repay the debt? So, what should we do? We can sell her to the club to pay off my debt. It's me. I don't have enough money. Can I use my daughter to pay off the debt? My daughter is Yvette. You've seen her before. That woman? She ran away from us before. Does she listen to you? We've reached an agreement. She's at my home now. Come here, and she'll go with you. Okay, I'll be there right away. The subscriber you dialed is powered off. Powered off? I could get through it just now. Did something happen to her? Caleb, I need you to locate Dot Yvette's phone. She was disobedient, so I gave her a little punishment. She's here. Take her away. We don't care whether she's dead or alive. Please eliminate my debt. It's Bruno who owes you money. It has nothing to do with me. Have you forgotten that you hit me before? I'll send you to my place, and we'll talk about it later. Take her away.
How are you? You hit her? Kid, stay out of this matter. Her parents have already. Yvette is my daughter. You have no right to. Bruno. To the hospital. Mr. Godwin, what should we do to these people? I don't want to see them in Elfrida anymore. Got it. Why am I in the hospital? Grandma. Why are you up? Lie down. Garrett. You saved me? Yes. Fortunately, I came in time. Otherwise, things would only get worse. Thank you, sir. But I still have something very important to do. Go back and rest. I've settled them all. My adoptive parents are very annoying. Can you handle them? Of course. Miss White. You've done too many bad things. Now the punishment has come, and your arm was broken? Do you know what happened to Miss White? I heard that she accidentally fell, when she was going down the stairs, and she broke her arm. Really? Really? Well, go back to your ward and rest. Please accept my condolences. Margot loved you the most. She definitely doesn't want to see you being sad. Thank you, Mrs. Moore. You're Yvette's husband, right? I've watched Yvette grow from her childhood. I can say, no girl in the world can compare to her. Don't let her down. Mrs. Moore, don't worry, I won't. Now, I won't disturb you. Say goodbye to your grandma. Grandma. Goodbye. Yvette. My parents raised you up. How dare you send them to prison, you vicious bitch. I'll kill you. You? How dare you slap me? Bruno killed his mother. He deserves to be imprisoned. That old woman should have died long ago. How could she send my parents to prison? Randall. You. How could you say that? Margo was your grandma. Your father owed money and killed his own mother. He'll go to hell after he dies. What about my grandma's inheritance? Yvette, you were an orphan and were adopted by my grandma. Now she's dead. All the inheritance is mine. Hand them over to me now. This is grandma's savings. Where's the property ownership certificate? Give it to me. That house was bought by me. There are memories of me and my grandma in it. I won't give it to you. That's only your word. Who knows if you're telling the truth? But that certificate has my grandma's name on it. Now she's dead. And that house is mine. Go to sue us, if you dare. You? Fine. I won't argue with you today. Yvette, we'll wait and see. Okay. There are $28,000 in it. Here. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes. Then where will you live? My grandma's house. I lived there before too. Your grandma's house is too far away from the gym. The competition is approaching. You still have to train. It's inconvenient to live there. I can rent an apartment near the gym. Do you still have money? No. Then you can leave. After the competition, I bet my grandpa would love to see you win the championship. Grandpa, Harvey, I'm going to the competition. Wait! I especially got this for you. I wish you victory. Take it. Thanks, Grandpa. And mine. You'll definitely win the championship. Thank you, Harvey. 
Bye. Sir, what are you doing? I'll keep this for you. The competition will start soon. Hurry up. Sir. How did she lift it? When she came on stage, I thought she would go down soon. I thought she was a green hand, but she was actually a master. Hello. Come in. Mr. White, you call me. What happened? Why is everyone so cheerful? There's a weightlifting competition in Alfredia today. We are all watching the live broadcast. There's a player whose name is Yvette. She looks very weak. But she, Yvette, could she be Mrs. Godwin? What? This, Mr. White. Look, is this Mrs. Godwin? She'll be able to participate in the Olympics the year after next. That's quite surprising, but this is a good opportunity to ease the relationship with the Godwin family. Ask the butler to prepare a gift and send it to the Godwin family. Go. Yes. Miss White. What are you doing? Mr. White asked me to give this gift to Mrs. Godwin. Mrs. Godwin? Yvette? Yeah. Why does Ian suddenly want to give Yvette a gift? Did he find out Yvette's identity? Miss White, if you have nothing, I'll take my leave. Hey. No. I can't wait any longer. Hello? It's about the proposal I gave you before. What's your answer? It's not a small thing. I have to think about it carefully. But it has been half a month already. He's just being perfunctory to me. How about this? I'll make another request. You think of a way to lead Garrett to a hotel. And I'll think of a way to get pregnant with his child. You want to be pregnant with Garrett's child? Yes. If Garrett has an illegitimate child, Yvette will definitely make a fuss with him, and I can let the White family put pressure on Garrett. At that time, Garrett must be bogged down on those matters. That will be your chance. This is only beneficial for you. You don't even need to think about it. To have an illegitimate child. What a dirty method. You just don't want to reduce the quality of your life after getting out of the White family. Mr. Harvey, it's a gift of congratulation to Mrs. Godwin from Mr. White. Put it there. Mr. Harvey, Ian must have done this to repair his relationship with Mr. Garrett. The restoration of their relationship will be no good to you. Help me make an appointment with Ian. Yes. How was that? Sir, how did I do? Great. I have to thank you for recommending me to join the provincial team. I definitely didn't know that. I could be a weightlifter. Without your help, maybe I'm still working on the construction site. M. Sir, what's wrong? The competition is over. Do you really want to leave the Godwin family? We had a deal, didn't we? Honestly, you don't need to be afraid of Vivian. Are you serious? Her family runs a multinational group. Who in Alfreda could compare with her? Maybe the young lady from the Godwin family could. But I'm not sure whether the Godwin family has one. There's no young lady in the Godwin family. How do you know? Right. You work at the Godwin group. You're the president's secretary. You should have seen their family members before. It's okay, sir. Don't be discouraged. We're ordinary people. You have to accept your fate. Sir, don't worry. Even if I become famous, I'll still remember you. Have you thought about it? My surname is Godwin, and I'm working at the Godwin Group. Maybe I'm the one you're thinking about. The one I'm thinking about? I'm not thinking about anyone. Sir, do you want to say that? You're the heir to the Godwin Group? Well, if you are the heir, why is there no photo of you on the official website of the Godwin Group? It'll be announced on Grandpa's 80th birthday. Okay, let's say you really are the heir to the Godwin Group. You have a younger brother. But Harvey doesn't do anything. The only heir is you. Then why does your grandpa have to wait until his 80th birthday to announce the heir? I was single before. Grandpa thought I was immature and wanted to train me. What about Mr. Dwyer? Isn't he the current president of the Godwin Group? He's my assistant. So he was your driver that day? Yes. So... Sir, you have been lying to me all the time.
Imagine the future. The heir to the Godwin group is not a criminal. Hiding the identity? No. You're right. If I were a rich lady, I would act like Vivian, looking for trouble everywhere. No need to hide it. What are you going to do after leaving the Godwin family? Continue to be a weightlifter. At the same time, I'll try to find my biological parents. After all, my grandma also wanted me to do so. I can help. No need. My grandma had given their token to me already. I've won the championship. After I get the reward, I'll post its photo online. And there will be a cash reward to whoever finds my parents. Or maybe my parents will show up themselves. Sir, what's wrong? Nothing. I feel that. Garrett just wanted to persuade me to stay. If he really said it, should I agree? If only there was no Vivian in our lives. In that case, I don't have to leave. This is a gift from Mr. White to congratulate you on winning the championship. Mr. White? Sir, do you think it was Mr. White who broke Miss White's arm? Why do you think so? Stupid. Mr. White and I are neither relatives nor friends. Why did he suddenly give me a gift? He must feel sorry because Vivian plotted against me. He taught Vivian a lesson and sent me a gift to make amends to me. Makes sense. If I was right about it, then I don't have to leave, right? Yes. That's great. Are you reluctant to leave me? No. I'm not. You don't breath when kissing? No. Sir, you're such a good kisser. You must have many ex-girlfriends. That was my first kiss. But, what about Vivian? You've known her for so long, nothing happened between you? Vivian and I have only known each other for less than a month. My grandpa starved himself to force me to get married. Just at that time, Mr. White took Vivian back to the country. When my grandpa knew about their return, he persuaded us to marry each other. Vivian didn't refuse. I thought maybe I really should get married at this age. So I also agreed. And you know what happened next. On your wedding day, Vivian ran away. Wait a second. Vivian is the daughter of the White family. But you're just a secretary. Why did she agree to marry you so easily? There are so many rich people in Alfreda, but she still chose you. Sir, are you hiding something from me? She has become smarter. Of course, there is a reason. What reason? Vivian is not Ian's biological sister. The White family adopted Vivian from a welfare institution. Rich families care about their reputations. Okay, I see. Any more questions? I was just kidding. There, there. Don't get angry. Mr. White, Mr. Harvey is here. Have a seat. I know why you came. We can talk about project cooperation, but I'll never interfere in your family affairs. Our Godwin family also doesn't allow outsiders to interfere in our family affairs. I came to you today for something else. Mr. White, take a look at this business plan. Everyone in Alfreda only recognizes Garrett. But today, Mr. Harvey, you've really surprised me. You agreed. Yes. I won't let you down. Mr. Harvey, I want you to ask you for a personal favor. What is it? I came back not only for the cooperation project, but also for my biological sister who went missing long ago, you know. My parents like Jade. After my sister was born, they picked a whole piece of Jade and made two Jade pendants. Both I and my sister had one. I'll let you know if I find anything. Thank you, Mr. Harvey. 
Jade Pendant. Their textures seem to match. Is Yvette, Mr. White's sister. Vivian wants to kill Yvette because Yvette is the real Miss White. Mr. Harvey, we've been followed. Should we get rid of them? No need. Let's see if they are Garrett's men. Go to the gym. It's time to pick Yvette up from work. Yes. We're so lucky today. I didn't expect to see Harvey go to find Ian. If I tell this to Mr. Garrett, he'll definitely reward us. Follow that car. Harvey is alone, but we have four of us. We have to know what he said to Ian. And tell it to Mr. Garrett. Mr. Garrett will owe us a favor. Mr. Harvey, Mrs. Godwin is over there. Drive over. The bus is late again. After I get the reward, I'll definitely buy a car. Harvey. Yvette, your today's training is over. Take the bus home. Yeah, but the bus is late again. I just finished my work and have to go home. Let's go together. Okay. Harvey got... What do you want? Seriously? You found a bastard to be your boyfriend? What are you guys up to? Harvey, we're here to ask you something. You'd better answer honestly. Harvey, you know them? No. You don't know us. That's fine. As long as we know you. Harvey, answer me. What did you say to Mr. White? Some business cooperation. Business cooperation? Do you think you can fool me? I think you just want to win over Mr. White and let him help you fight your family property. It seems you won't tell the truth unless you've learned your lesson. Harvey, stay back. I don't want blood splattering on you later. What? Are you too scared to say your word right? It's fine. Stay away from them and I'll let you go. Otherwise, I'll beat you too. Yvette, don't show off your strength. Stay back. Harvey, it's not like I haven't seen you fight. Leave it to me. I'll protect you. You'll fight with me? That's fine. But don't blame me for not going easy on you. Ouch. How's that? Continue? No, no. Harvey, how was that? Harvey, how could you let your mind wander when I was fighting for you? I just remembered something in the past. I remember when I was little, you would always stand in front of me and protect me. I know, you've never known how to fight. Just stand behind me and I'll protect you. Okay. Do you know who we are? Who the hell are you? Go away. Get in the car, Yvette. Mr. Harvey, are they Mr. Garrett's men? Garrett would never choose those kinds of hooligans. Find them and cut off their tongues. Since they don't know how to speak, then don't. Yes. Mr. Harvey hates others to call him a bastard. Those people were really courting death. Harvey, get in the car. Okay. Go and drive the car. Yes. Harvey, here is your bank card. You've changed your mind. Vivian won't cause trouble again, right? I can earn $28,000 within three months. Of course, I can't give up. Harvey, where is my jade pendant? I haven't figured out the relationship between Yvette and Ian. I can't give the jade pendant back to her now. The jade pendant is very important to you. I'm afraid of losing it at home. So, I put it in a safety bank vault. The voucher is not with me today. How about I take it back another day? You probably don't need a voucher if you go to the bank yourself, right? Yvette, have you received your reward? Still going through the procedures. Since you haven't received your reward, you may still be in urgent need of money. Take this in case you need money. Harvey. Okay, you may have a rest. I won't disturb you. Yvette, what should I do to let you believe that I'm not that weak anymore? Yvette. Sit. Have some water. Yvette, what are you doing? Do you need to take medicine? Where is your medicine? Go get it. Fine, Yvette. But I see you keep silent all the way just now. I thought you were scared and your heart was not feeling well. I'm not that fragile, Yvette. What are you talking about? May I join you? Nothing. We were just chatting. Yeah, we were just chatting. Go back to the room with me.
Sir. Have you forgotten my words? What words? Seems you didn't take my words seriously. Ouch. It hurts. It hurts. Sir, if you don't let go, I'll push you. You reminded me. Ouch. It hurts. Sir, what's wrong with you? Look. No, I'll bite it back. Sir, why didn't you push me away? Do you also feel that you deserve the punishment? I'll tell you again. You are my wife. Stay away from other men. What? Especially Harvey. Sir, are you jealous? Jealous? In what way is Harvey better than me? Why should I be jealous of him? He's handsome. Am I not? He's also very gentle. Women like gentlemen. Yeah, gentlemen. Only naive girls would be fooled by them. Well then. He's younger than you. A man needs to have his own achievements. Sir, you're all in debt now. You. Sir, what's wrong with you? I don't want to hear any man's name from your mouth again. Why should I listen to you? No. Then I'll continue. Okay, stop, stop. I won't say it. I won't. I won't. Okay. Mr. Godwin, we've got everything ready. Your love confession tonight is sure to be successful. Okay, I'll be right there. Why can't I wipe it off? I, I can't go out and meet people like this. If Grandpa knows about it, he'll definitely scold me again. I can only change into high-collar clothes. Yvette. Harvey, it's you. What happened? Nothing. I thought it was Grandpa. Grandpa punished you last time, and it seems to have traumatized you. Isn't Yvette and Garrett's marriage a fake one? Why are there kiss marks on her neck? Her neck. You. Did you f fall in love with Garrett? No. Then who bit your neck? Garrett. But, don't worry, I've bitten him back. I didn't lose. You bit his neck too. Yeah. He bit me first. The mark is so obvious. Is Garrett warning me? Harvey, what's wrong? Nothing. What else did you and Garrett do? We just bit each other. That's all. Garrett is a playboy. There are many women around him. Vivian is one of them. Don't be tricked by him. Really? But he said he gave me his first kiss. You even kissed. Didn't you say you two did nothing else? It was just an accident. If there's nothing else, I'll take my leave. Wait. What? Yvette. Are you sure you didn't fall in love with Garrett? You won't be with him. Why do you ask the same question twice? When mentioning Garrett, you're smiling. Is that so obvious? Yes. Well, okay. Maybe just a little bit. But if he doesn't confess his love to first, I won't be with him. Yvette. Garrett is not the one for you. Be with me. Harvey, what are you talking about? I'm not joking. I've always loved you. Yvette. Don't you remember? When we were kids, we played together. We played the role of husband and wife. Maybe it's our fate to become a real couple. We were just kids. That's not real. Besides, at that time, I played the role of a father, and your role was the mother. But that was still a couple. Harvey. You're a nice person. I. Harvey. Are you now a little too impulsive? I'm indeed a little impulsive. But everything I said is true, Yvette. Can you give me a chance? Harvey. You're a nice person. You'll find the one that is more suitable for you. I still have some business. I'll take my leave first, Harvey. Yvette, you've changed your mind. I'll return this card to you. You refused me, but accepted Garrett. I'm the one who met you first. Harvey! 
What are you doing there? Grandpa, nothing. Grandpa, Yvette and I won't come back for dinner tonight. You just go out like this. What's wrong? Don't you feel embarrassed? You mean this? Grandpa, you have no idea, don't you? Yvette was afraid that I might find other women outside, so she especially stamped this mark on me. Young people. Grandpa, don't feel strange about it. I made a reservation and we'll have a romantic dinner with Yvette tonight. Oh. Grandpa, just forget about Vivian. Your eldest granddaughter-in-law can only be Yvette. If Gary can really settle down, I can accept a vet as my granddaughter-in-law. Grandpa, I suddenly remembered that I still had things to do. Excuse me. Just go. It's boring to eat alone. Maybe I can go play chess with Johan. Why did Harvey suddenly confess to me? Now we're living in the same house. How should I face him in the future? Oh, no. Hello? Sir, you want to have dinner with me? I'll be there now. Yvette. Harvey. Going out. Yes, Garrett said he found a popular restaurant and invited me to try their delicious food. A restaurant that Garrett recommends. Their dishes must be very tasty. What's its name? I'll eat there too when I have time. Plothian Restaurant. Garrett and I will give it a try first. If those dishes taste good, I'll tell you. I have to go. Okay. Harvey. Are you okay? It's a heart attack again. Where is your medicine? Tell me. The cabinet in my room. I'll go get it. Got it. I'll be there right away. Feel better? I'm fine. Just need to rest for a while. Harvey. Come up. Hurry. I'll carry you to the hospital. I'm fine. I only need to take some rest. You still have an appointment with Garrett, right? That's just a meal. Your life is more important. Hurry up. I. I forgot it. If I carry you on my back, it would press your heart. I can lift you up. I'm already weak and fragile in Yvette's heart. If I really let her carry me to the hospital, I won't be able to shake off this image in my life. Don't worry. I'm very strong. I'm fine. It's fine. You can carry me on your back. Harvey, are you feeling better? Is this medicine taking effects? Yes. Let me help you up. I know, Harvey. You must be shy. I'll carry you to the hospital. Mr. Godwin, look. Well done. Of course. The whole Clothian restaurant is at your disposal tonight. No one will bother you and Mrs. Godwin. I'll leave right away. If I confess my love here, it's highly likely that Yvette won't refuse. I can also tell her my real identity. She shouldn't be too angry. Why are you here? I'm here to have dinner. I heard that someone had booked the whole restaurant, so I came to have a look. Are you done looking now? May go in and have a seat. No. Garrett, have you forgotten that I should be your bride? Since you chose to escape from marriage in the first place, you shouldn't keep pestering me. What if I tell you there's a reason why I ran away? 
I don't care. Quite romantic. You did all this for Yvette? I don't think you're curious about who booked the whole restaurant. You came here specifically to block me, right? Yes. When I talked about marriage with you, you were cold and distant. I could hear nothing but business from you. But you're so considerate when it comes to having dinner with Yvette. I'm Miss White from the White family after all. Aren't you afraid of making the White family dissatisfied? If it weren't for the White family, you don't even have the qualification to stand in front of me, talking. Get out. What are you doing? Nothing. I just feel that we've known each other for so long, but we've never been alone together. I want to have a drink with you. No need. Garrett, did you fall in love with Yvette? Yes. How long have you known her? Yet you've already fallen in love with her. Do you know what kind of person she is? Less than a month after we first met, we began to discuss our marriage. Now I've known her for two months. Why can't I fall in love with her? You. What if the drug is not effective enough? Wait, are you going to send these candles in? Yes, miss, you are. Well, here is the thing. My birthday is approaching. I want to book a restaurant and invite my friends to celebrate together. Can you tell me about your restaurant services? Sure. Please wait a moment. I'll get the brochure first. Does she really want to know about us? What's wrong with that woman? Ian froze my card. I only have these $700,000 now. God bless me. I must get the key. $420,000. I need the key to box number one. Miss White, that box was booked by Mr. Godwin. I already made an exception to let you in. I can't. $700,000. Well, okay. Don't tell others. The temperature has been set to the lowest. Why is it still so hot? Is the air conditioner broken? Why do I feel so groggy? Was it you? Wait, I didn't eat any of these things. When did you drug me? The drug has taken effect. It's useless to blow it out now. What do you want? You. Mr. Godwin, can I do anything for you? Why is it so noisy over there? I'm dancing. Mr. Godwin, you're dating your wife. I'm single. Shut up and come to Cloffian Restaurant now. I was set up by Vivian. What? Well, I, I'll be there right away. It seems that the dinner can't continue. I have to call Yvette and let her don't come. Rest up. I'll go out and pay the fees for you. Where is my phone? I've already paid the fees online. Okay. Are you this patient's family? Oh. Well, yes. Come out with me. I'll tell you something about the patient's condition. Then I'll go out first. The number you dialed is busy now. Who is she calling? I can't believe this really happened to me. Damn, where is he? Garrett, are you in there? Garrett. She found me so quickly. She's quite persevering. Garrett, open the door. 
I'm outside. Don't resist. According to the examination results, patient's overall heart condition is fine. But just in case, it's recommended to let him stay in the hospital for observation. Okay. It seems that it's better to have someone accompany Harvey. Doctor, I left my phone at home. Can I borrow your phone and make a phone call? Hello? Sir, well, Harvey had a heart attack. I may not be able to have dinner with you. But you can pack them. I can eat cold food. Okay, I, well. Sir, why does your voice sound a bit odd? Sir, are you okay? Sir, why don't you speak? Please say something. Sir, are you still in the Clothian restaurant? Say something. I, I'll be there right away. Mr. Godwin, what happened? Mr. Godwin, are you okay? You're the manager of this Clothian restaurant. Very good. I, please let me explain. You're done here. Get out. Garrett. Go away. Garrett, no matter what. I must have you today. Sir, I'm here. Where are you? Why is she here? No, we can't stay here. Sir, what happened to you? Why is your body so hot? Yvette, why are you here? Am I dreaming? Vivian, did you drug him? Yvette, you ruined my plan. Go to hell. Yvette, you ruined my plan. Go to hell. I'll take him to the hospital first. We'll settle this with you later. Mr. Godwin, I, I'm here. Mr. Dwyer, did you also come to Cloffee and Restaurant for dinner? Well, Mr. Godwin called me to come. Ah, yes. Well, um, what happened to Garrett? He was drugged by Vivian. I need to take him to the hospital. Wait, um, my car is outside. I'll drive you. Oh, no need. Mr. Dwyer, how can we bother you? You still have to have dinner here. Come on, Garrett needs to go to the hospital now. How can I eat in this situation? I'll drive you. Well, thank you, Mr. Dwyer. No problem, no problem. I almost forgot that Mr. Godwin hasn't confessed his love and his identity to Mrs. Godwin yet. It seems that Mr. Godwin will have to find another opportunity to confess his love. How pathetic. Sir, I know you're feeling bad, but try to keep your mind clear. Mr. Dwyer will be here right away. You don't want to be embarrassed in front of your boss, right? Should I stay outside for a while? It's fine. I'll take care of it. Are you awake? Yes. Good. Mr. Dwyer, we're done. Okay, okay, okay. Funny? No, no. He's your boss. Be respectful. Mr. Dwyer, I'm sorry. He's a little uncomfortable. Please forgive him. Sure, sure, of course. Check me. Hello, what? Garrett and Harvey are both hospitalized. Okay, I'll go to the hospital now. Sorry, Johan, this game can't continue. I don't know. What happened to Garrett and Harvey? I have to go to the hospital to check on them. All right. Didn't you say you would stop Yvette? Why did she come to the restaurant? Are you blaming me? I... Help me again. You should save yourself first. Sir, you finally woke up. Sir. How many fingers? Two. I'm sober. Don't need to try again. Great, sir. 
When I arrived at the restaurant and saw you like that, I was terrified. Fortunately, I met Mr. Dwyer. Otherwise, it would take longer to send you to the hospital. Yvette, I'm thirsty. I want water. Okay, I'll get it for you. Caleb, look what you've done. Mr. Godwin, it's not my fault. It's Vivian. She must have bribed the people inside the restaurant. She is Miss White. She only needs to give out a small bit of her money, and there will be a lot of people willing to do things for her. But don't worry, Mr. Godwin. I'm always loyal to you. No matter what Vivian do, I'll never betray you. Where is Vivian? Have you caught her? I, I, I have already set people to do it. They should have caught her by now. Take her back first. I'll be back later. Okay. Sir, Mr. Dwyer, what are you doing? Mr. Dwyer is taking my pulse. Well? Ah, yes, yes, yes. I've learned some traditional medical skills recently. When I saw Garrett like this, I couldn't help but take his pulse. Okay, I see. Here. Grandpa. Garrett, how do you feel? Grandpa, why are you here? I came to check on you. Why are you so careless? And you, so negligent. How can I trust you to assist Garrett in the future? Mr. Dwyer is Garrett's boss. Why is he so afraid of Grandpa? Grandpa, it's not his fault. I'll tell you in detail after we get back. Grandpa, it's getting late. You may go back and rest. I can be discharged from the hospital tomorrow. I don't think I can go back. Harvey had a heart attack and, and is also hospitalized. I have to go see him later. Wasn't his heart disease cured? It's never easy to cure a heart disease. The doctor who initially treated Harvey said we had to take good care of Harvey. There is also a possibility of recurrence. Harvey had a heart attack again today? What a coincidence. Yvette. I know what happened today. Without you, my grandsons would have really been in serious danger. Thank you very much. Grandpa, you don't have to say that. This is what I should do. Garrett, have a good rest. I'm going to look at Harvey. Okay. Mr. White, Miss White is brought back. Ian, fortunately, your people arrived in time. Otherwise, I would fall into Garrett's hand. Vivian, although you're an adopted daughter, my parents always treat you like their own daughter. We almost give you everything you need and want. But what have you done? You used drug to seduce Garrett. Huh? You've really disgraced the White family. The White family's reputation is ruined by you. Ian, how did you know? Don't you always yell outside, saying that you're Miss White? Someone saw you being mobbed and called me. After you returned to the country, none of the things you did made me happy. I've told Mom and Dad about everything. They'll decide what you'll end up with. Ian, please don't tell Mom and Dad. You know them. They don't tolerate mistakes. If they know what I've done, they'll definitely kick me out. Lock her up in her room. Without my instructions, no one is allowed to let her out. What time is the nearest flight? Tomorrow at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Book it. Book more for the bodyguards. By that time, get her on the plane. Ian, Ian. No, Ian. Ian, I don't want to go. Ian. Miss White, this is Mr. White's order. We can't do anything else. I have to see Ian. As long as I explain it well, he'll forgive me. Miss White, please stay here. I'll bring you food later. Let's go. Everything I have is given by the White family. If they kick me out, what should I do in the future? Why do they have to do this to me? I just don't want to live that hard life again. This is the second floor. I can sneak out through the window. Mr. Godwin, our people caught Vivian. But Ian's people suddenly appeared and took Vivian away. Ian White. Let's go to the White House. Yes. Even the White family can't protect her, I promise. Yes. 
Sir. Where are you going? You've even got changed. Mr. Dwyer said I need to finish some work now. Well, this- Um, really? What work? We got a new project, and it needs to be done efficiently. Garrett. Garrett is the main person in charge. So, so, he can't ask for leave at will. Yeah, that's right. Yvette, you go back and rest first. I'll go back soon. No, you can't work overtime. What's wrong with you? How can they let a patient work overtime? You may directly quit the job. What kind of company would let its sick employees work overtime? I've got my reward already. I can raise you. Ah, Mr. Dwyer. I can't work overtime today. You may go back. Let's talk about it after I get better. Oh, okay. Garrett, have a good rest. Sir, are you hiding something from me? Why do you suddenly ask so? The number of times Mr. Dwyer comes is a little too high. I feel like he's your subordinate, rather than your boss. Ah, Yvette, are you here to bring me food? Yes. Great, I happen to be hungry. You haven't answered my question yet. Well, Mr. Dwyer is considerate towards his subordinates. If he was really considerate, he wouldn't have let you, who was sick, work overtime. Yvette is getting smarter now. Oh, what happened to my head? My head is starting to hurt again. You should have a good rest. Do I really have to choose a specific time to tell her my identity? But I don't want to confess directly. It's too casual. Sir, your headache gets worse. Should I call a doctor? I feel better. That's good. It's so late at night. Where is he going? Where is Ian going? Mr. White heard that a man named Bruno had adopted a little girl. Mr. White thinks that little girl might be his sister, so he planned to go to Bruno's house to ask about it. I have done so much, but I still can't stop Yvette from returning to the White family. Miss White, I'll put the meal here. Miss White, after you go abroad and go back to your parents, please admit your mistake to them. They won't blame you. The flight will take off at 3 p.m. tomorrow. I still have a chance. I can't sit still and wait for death. Hello, is there anyone? Miss White, what can I do for you? Go tell Ian that I agreed to go abroad. But I want to go out and buy some gifts for Mom and Dad. Mr. White and Mr. Dwyer are discussing something in the company. I'll call and ask them. Mr. White, you asked Mr. Godwin to help you find your sister before. Now, Mr. Godwin has some clue, but he needs a hair of yours to take a paternity test. Did he find her? Mr. Godwin said that he'll tell you after the paternity test is done, just to make sure. Okay. I have to find a way to get rid of him. Go buy me a milkshake. But... Do you want me to wait in line myself? No, I'll go now. Harvey, I'll be sent abroad soon. If you want to become the head of the Godwin family, this is your only chance. Harvey, you're back. Yes, it's more comfortable at home. Yvette, are you going to make chicken soup? Yes, it's nutritious. I want to let God. Let everyone drink my chicken soup. I'll go to the kitchen now. Wait. Yvette. After coming out of the hospital, I went to the bank. Here, your jade pendant. Thank you. Yvette, is there any news about your biological parents? No. The world is so big, I don't know where to go to find them. Yvette, is there really no future for us? This chicken is so fierce, I'll go cook it now. 
Harvey, I'll be sent abroad soon. If you want to become the head of the Godwin family, this is your only chance. What do you want me to do? You just need to. Okay. Harvey is not here. I can finally concentrate on making my soup. Yvette, sorry. But I have to do this. I still need Vivian to do one last thing for me, but I promise. I'll definitely let you return to the White family in glory. I bought the things you need. Good. But wait. I have to ask the doctor if Garrett can be discharged from the hospital today. If he can, then these things will be ready to use. Sir Godwin. Why are you here? Sir Godwin, I'm here to explain. Explain what? Well, it's the affair between the Godwin family and the White family. Can he listen? Leave us alone for a moment. Okay. You may explain now. Sir Godwin, here is the thing. I didn't drug Garrett. It was a waiter at the Clothian restaurant. He recognized Garrett's identity, so he... You! How dare you! Harvey! Harvey! Help! Here. It's indeed the necklace Yvette wore on my birthday. When did you do? Ow! Oh. Let's go. I can finally be discharged from the hospital. Mr. Godwin, Sir Godwin was sent to the operating room. The doctor said the situation is very optimistic. Lead the way now. Mr. Godwin, what's going on? It's Yvette. At that time, Sir Godwin wanted to drive Yvette away. Yvette refused, and she pushed Sir Godwin. Sir. Sir, I made you chicken. Why are you all look at me like this? Yvette, stop pretending to be innocent. Sir Godwin is on the verge of death in the operating room now. You still dare to show up in front of us? Something happened to Grandpa? When did this happen? You're still pretending. Just because Sir Godwin doesn't like you, you tried to kill him. Is there any humanity left in you? What are you talking about? Do you have any evidence? I saw it with my own eyes. My Grandpa wanted to drive Yvette away. How could he let you see it? I... After what happened yesterday, Ian slapped me and let me apologize to you. Today, on my way from the parking lot to the hospital, I saw Yvette and Sir Godwin have a quarrel. I got this injury because Yvette beat me. I wanted to save Sir Godwin at that time, but I didn't expect that Yvette would hit me with a stone. I just arrived at the hospital. How could I have time to do those things? You have strength. Dealing with an old man wouldn't take you long. You're lying. Sir, she's framing me. Don't believe her. Enough. My grandpa is in the operating room. Please be quiet. Sir, I really didn't do that. You must believe me. I was making soup at home. I heard that something happened to grandpa. What happened? The patient was hit hard on the head, causing brain damage. He also has angina pectoris. The situation is very pessimistic now. If he can't wake up after 48 hours, you may start preparing for his funeral. How could it be? We found this in the patient's hand. The necklace that Garrett gave me. Why is it here? This is the necklace that I gave you. Yes. When you pushed Sir Godwin, he seemed to have pulled something down from you. I didn't notice it at the time. It turns out to be this necklace. Yvette, what else do you have to say? You murderer. Sir, I really didn't do that. You must believe me. I was making soup at home. There's no reason for me to harm Grandpa. Wait until my Grandpa wakes up. Sir, I really... Now, the witnesses and physical evidence are all here. Yvette, you are doomed.
I, Ian. The ticket is ready. Get in. We'll go to the airport. I, Ian. Yvette almost killed Sir Godwin. Do you know this? Did she? Go check it out. Yes. Since I returned, Sir Godwin has been very nice to me. I want to say goodbye to him before leaving. No. Just two more days will be enough. I want to celebrate Sir Godwin's 80th birthday. Besides, if I leave now, Mom and Dad will definitely think it's a breach of etiquette. Okay, two days. By the way, I heard you went to see a man named Bruno. And he had something to do with our missing sister. Did you find anything? He's in jail. There's no one in his house. I've applied for a visit to prison. It'll take two days. Two days is enough. As soon as Sir Godwin dies, Yvette will go to hell too. Grandpa, don't worry. I'll definitely find the person who hurt you. Mr. Godwin, what should we do now? Investigate. Mr. Godwin, do you really think it was Mrs. Godwin who hurt Sir Godwin? We can't draw any conclusions yet. I hope she's not. Well, Mr. Godwin, the day after tomorrow is Sir Godwin's 80th birthday because Sir Godwin will announce his heir on that day. We've already sent out the news three months ago. Everyone knows about it. But now, Sir Godwin is... The banquet. Hold it as we planned. Okay, got it. I'll go prepare it now. Yvette, where are you going? Harvey, you're still here? Yeah, I know you're sad. I'm staying to accompany you. Where are you going? To the place where Grandpa got hurt. I'll find some clues there. I won't let Vivian slander me like that. I'll go with you. I also want to know who hurt Grandpa. Okay. Let's go. This is where Grandpa got hurt. Not many people around. No surveillance. Harvey, do you find anything? Nothing. This angle. Maybe he saw something. You still hold hope for Garrett. Do you have to wait until you're completely disappointed in Garrett before accepting me? Harvey, look. Let me see. I didn't expect the murderer to be Vivian. I'll go find Garrett and tell him Vivian is the murderer. Sir, I found the murderer. The doctor has issued the critical condition notice. I'm not in the mood to know it right now. He doesn't even want to say a word to you. Seems he doesn't believe you. He still doubts you in his heart. Not surprising. You two have only known each other for a few months. It's normal if he doesn't understand you. I can understand him. If something happens to my grandma, I should be like him. Unwilling to talk to anyone and just want to stay by grandma's side. It's okay. I've already got the video in my phone. I'll show him after grandpa's condition. Get better. Yvette, why haven't you got changed? Get changed? Why? Today is Grandpa's 80th birthday. We're going to the hospital to celebrate Grandpa's birthday? No. It's the Pearl Hotel. Grandpa woke up? No. Grandpa's birthday banquet was decided three months ago. Garrett said it'll be held as scheduled. We all need to be there. Does this mean I can see Garrett there? Garrett hasn't been home for two days. I couldn't see him even if I went to the hospital. I'll go get changed now. Harvey. Are you sure this is the place? Looks so grand. It's Grandpa's 80th birthday. Of course, it should be grand. But this is too grand. Mr. Harvey. Yvette, someone is looking for me. Go. What is it? Mr. Harvey. The banquet will officially begin in 20 minutes. But Mr. Garrett hasn't arrived yet. I see. Mr. Harvey, Mr. Garrett has been staying in the hospital during the past two days. No one was allowed to visit. Our people couldn't get close to Sir Godwin. Do you think Mr. Garrett is up to something big? Garrett booked this place for Grandpa's birthday banquet. How much does all this cost?
Have you heard that something happened to Sir Godwin? The hospital has already issued a critical condition notice. Yeah, I heard of it. The Godwin is in danger now. Who do you think will take over the Godwin group? Mr. White and Miss White are here. Ian, I left a gift in the car. Can you help me get it? Okay, but today is Sir Godwin's birthday. If you make trouble, I can't protect you either. Ian, I know what I can and can't do, okay? I have been preparing for this day for so long. No one can stop me. I'll ruin Yvette's reputation in front of everyone. I'll ruin Yvette's life. Security. Arrest this murderer who tried to kill Sir Godwin. That woman seems to be Mr. Godwin's newly married wife. Yes, that's her. I saw her on the wedding day. Why did she try to kill Sir Godwin? Vivian, you're still slandering me now. The person who tried to kill Grandpa is you, not me. You replaced me and married Garrett. But that doesn't make you anything in the Godwin family. You forgot that the current head of the Godwin family is Sir Godwin. What he hates most are some material girls like you. You know that as long as Sir Godwin stays alive, he'll kick you out sooner or later. In order to stay in the Godwin family, you finally attempted to kill Sir Godwin. Yvette, you're such a vicious woman. What? Mr. Garrett gave up Miss White for this vicious woman. Mr. Garrett really made a terrible decision. Vivian, I didn't want to cause trouble at Grandpa's birthday banquet, but since you started it first, I won't stay back and do nothing. I have the evidence of you attempting to kill Grandpa. You'll find who the murderer is after you watch this video. This video is fake. I am Miss White Sir Godwin favors me. How could I try to kill him? Her words make sense. Why not let a technician examine if this video is authentic? No need to bother. The video is authentic. I have the same video in my phone. I didn't see Grandpa in the hospital, nor around Garrett. Where is Grandpa? Sir. So, it was Miss White who tried to kill Sir Godwin. Why did she do that? Garrett, I didn't expect you to slander me just to protect Yvette. Do you really think the White family will tolerate that? What's going on? You caused me trouble right after I left. Ian, it's Garrett. In order to make everyone ignore Yvette's poor background, Garrett slandered me. He took out a fake video and said I tried to kill Sir Godwin. He just wants to use the White family to protect Yvette. You can't allow him. Mr. White, don't believe her. She is jealous of me marrying Garrett. You also know what she did to me. She is the one who disgraced the White family. You think too highly of yourself. I am Miss White. My family runs a multinational group. I'm a perfect match for the richest man in Alfreda. Why should I be jealous of you? Who is nobody? What did you say? The richest man in Alfreda? I know that Garrett's surname is Godwin. But it's just a coincidence, isn't it? A coincidence? Yvette, what are you pretending to be? If the Godwin family were not the richest family in Alfreda, why would Ian and I attend this banquet? If Garrett is the richest man in Alfreda, why is he pretending to be the president's secretary? Yeah, that's right. How could I forget it? Mr. Dwyer is so respectful to Garrett. Garrett doesn't act like a secretary at all. Then why did he lie to me at the beginning? So many flaws. Why didn't I notice them before? What went wrong exactly? You said you had no reason to hurt my grandpa. Then I'll give you one. Mr. White, remember that I let Caleb ask you for your hair before? You said you found some clues about my sister. You know who my sister is. Where is she? Yvette. I have the DNA test result of you and Yvette. She's my sister. How could I be Miss White's sister? Weren't we talking about the person who hurt Sir Godwin? Why does it suddenly become the White family's family there? Please be patient, everyone. The White family is the cause of everything. What are you and Caleb talking about? I can't understand it at all. You'll know after hearing the whole story. Vivian doesn't want others to share her status and resources. So, she used the White family's power to get rid of Mrs. Godwin. She even escaped from marriage just to kill Mrs. Godwin. Nonsense. Ian, don't believe him. This is why you're so hostile to Mrs. Godwin. That's my sister. You used the White family's power to kill her. How do you? I didn't. It's not true. 
As for why she hurt Sir Godwin, it's because once Mrs. Godwin is back to the White family, everything she did will be exposed, and there will be no place for her in the White family anymore. In order to live a luxurious life, after leaving the White family, she chose the Godwin family. So, she attempted to kill Sir Godwin and framed Mrs. Godwin. She tried to kill two birds with one stone. What a greedy woman. Ian, I didn't do it. I really didn't do it. You have to believe me. After my parents adopted you from the welfare house, they treated you as their biological daughter. This is how you treat us back. Since that's the case, the White family can't have you anymore. Ian, do you really want to drive me out? Yes. Not only that, I'll have someone sort out all the expenses that the White family has spent on you over the years. We'll make you pay them back. Ian, I... How can I pay them back? You hurt my sister. You deserve the punishment. Security. Drag her out. Ian, I'm sorry. I was wrong. Harvey. Harvey, say something. Help me. Harvey, don't forget that when I attempted to kill Sir Godwin, you were there too. I'm not familiar with you. Don't try to drag me in. You think you can get away from it just because the camera didn't capture you? You know clearly what you did. Madwoman, take this woman out now. Harvey, you won't get away with it. Vivian helped you, but you just stood by, watching her be taken away. Grandpa hasn't announced his heir yet. Garrett, don't be so impatient. You want to eliminate me now. Did I see it wrong? Was the person next to Vivian in the video not you? Of course not. Yvette, do you think it was me? No. You and Vivian haven't known each other for long. You've only met her a few times. Besides, Sir Godwin is your biological grandfather. Garrett, did you hear that? Why are you still speaking for him? It was him who stole your necklace. If it weren't for him, your necklace wouldn't appear in Grandpa's hand. There are so many servants in the house. This alone can't explain anything, can it? What if Grandpa stands out to speak? Can he identify you? Grandpa, you, you didn't die. I know. You've never given up. Competing with Garrett. But I didn't expect that. You would help others to kill me. No, no, Grandpa. From now on, you're no longer part of the Godwin family. Take care of yourself. Now, I'm here to announce that the heir to the Godwin group is my eldest grandson, no. Garrett. I'm sure you won't let me down. Congratulations, Mr. Mr. Garrett. Garrett. Mr. White. I, should I call you brother? It's okay. You can call me brother whenever you want. How have you been over the years? It's not bad. I've never thought that I would be your sister. Garrett really didn't make it wrong? Harvey, what don't are you doing? Put the knife down. Let go of Yvette. I'll let my people send you out safely. Don't be afraid, Yvette. After you die, I'll go to accompany you immediately. Ah. Uh, Harvey. If I did something wrong, I can apologize to you. You can even beat me if you want. Can you move this knife a little away from me? I originally planned to tell you about your true identity. Unfortunately, Garrett took a step ahead of me. Harvey. You also know. Don't hurt Yvette. Hurt me if you dare. Yvette, don't you think it's romantic to die for love? No, I don't. You married Yvette, so what? She is mine eventually. Let go of me. Take that down! Let go of me. Your hand is injured. I'll take you to the hospital. No need. Why? You're so seriously injured. Why don't you want to go to the hospital? My hand is injured, but my feet are not. I can go to the hospital by myself. That's right.
I feel like this all is just a dream. Only when this gust of wind blows, it gives me a sense of reality. Yvette, I love you, will you agree to be with me? Sir, why did you suddenly say this? I owe you a love confession. Now is a good time, don't want to wait anymore. Yvette, please accept me, okay? I have not decided whether to forgive you for lying to me. I'll spend a lifetime to earn your forgiveness. <laughs>